Hello. Went ahead and turned on my mic because we're going to be starting in a few. But welcome, welcome. Just going to wait a few more minutes. Let's just chill and listen to some starting music. And we'll be starting in around five minutes. All right. Hello, guys. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Make stickers for my live streams? That would be such a cute idea. I'm going to wait for a few more people to trickle in, and then we'll start. But let's just relax right now. Is my audio okay? Do y'all hear everything all right? Just let me know how everything is going sound-wise, visually. Thank you, Space Cadet, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Everything's good? All right. Sounds great. Nice. 
I hope you like the PNG tuber I made. It's a little bit different from <laughs> what the thumbnail looks like. I'm gonna edit that later, but um, I think it's cute. I want to edit it a little bit so you can see it blinking and talking. But for right now, this is what we have. I think it's really cute. I really like it. Nice. I know there were a couple people who said they wanted to watch my live stream, so I'm gonna wait until that happens. Thank you. I love it. I'm waiting for a few more people to trickle in and we'll start. God, I love this music. It's so cute. Yeah, you are the first one. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. I've been getting so much love from a bunch of y'all. And I am so grateful for that. Everyone is always so kind and nice. Yeah, it is the journey of the Pirate King music. I was wondering. This is also going to be recorded, so I'll be posting the video for this live stream uh, tomorrow. So if you can't um, be here for the entire live stream, don't worry about it, because I will be posting the video tomorrow. And I'll cut out all the wait times and stuff like that, so it'll be a little easier to enjoy. So don't feel bad if you have to leave early. Sorry I'm making you wait a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until about 5.35-ish. So we'll give about five more minutes to let people trickle in. And we'll go ahead and start. I am very excited. Oh my god, that emoji is so cute. The little cat in a box. I love it. Once I reach 500, I think, subscribers, I'll be able to put stickers, I think, in my lives, which I think is super fun. Because I think I want to start live streaming every week, if this goes well. So I think now is a safe time to just go ahead and start. So let us make our new save. Oh, okay, that is very loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. The music is, uh, the noises are super loud at the beginning of the game. I'm sorry, I can't change it, but, um, but we will deal with that. Okay, okay. All right. This will be edited in post. All right. Let's just go ahead and start with our little character. Hi, how are you, Moon? Thank you so much for joining me. We are just about to create our little character and everything for this stream. I am super excited. We're gonna name it Insomniac Farm. I know I love this game. 
Have you played Stardew Valley before? Trying to find my hairstyle. I like this one. Or maybe we'll do it with the headband. I think the headband's cute. Or maybe without it. You made it just in time. Hello, Celestial. Very nice to see you. Yeah, we're just making our little character right now. So you did come just in time. Very exciting. I'm trying to color match. It's proving quite difficult. Ugh, this is so hard. I'm trying to color match like <laughs> my little PNG tuber so they look the same. Should I have shorts or pants? I think the shorts are cute but maybe pants. What do y'all think? For now, we'll put pants, but let me know. Let me know what y'all want. Because of course our shoes and everything are gonna change. Is that a little skirt? No, those are shorts. That's cute. I do have a bunch of mods installed. So, you're saying pants? We'll look at that. I do have a couple mods installed, and I did install a mod that makes one of the kitties different. So this isn't a vanilla kitty. This is a kitty that I added as a mod because I thought he was cute. Dang it, we have two opposite opinions. Pants and shorts. I think we can change our outfits later on. Okay, so we'll decide on this, <laughs> but... We have a bunch of different farm layouts we can choose from. We have standard, riverland, forest, hilltop, wilderness, four corners, and beach farm. All of these have their perks and all that. But uh, I don't know. I'm thinking forest just because it, it is the most aesthetically pleasing farm, I think. But um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I do pants all the time, so maybe shorts would be a nice change. But we can be those kind of people that just change our outfit, like, constantly. We can, we can do that, no problem. I'm going to change my hair color a little bit. So what do y'all think about the forest farm? I think beach farm is pretty cool, but I can't put sprinklers on the beach. And that kind of makes me mad. Forest is my go-to. Yeah, I really love forest. I want to do definitely a beach farm. Maybe that can be a video on its own, just me trying to do the beach farm. But I guess for this Let's Play, we can do something we're a little comfortable with, just so it is cozy. Um, so yeah, we can do forest. I really like that. And for favorite thing, hmm. I know whenever you eat a star fruit, it says it tastes like your favorite thing. So I don't want to put like bats which are my favorite animal because once I did that in a save and then I ate a star fruit and it said it said that it tasted like bats and that that didn't make me feel very good <laughs> so what can I think of today I had a crunch wrap I do I do like crunch wraps from to oh I can't put more We'll put crunch wrap. I ate a crunch wrap. It was awesome, actually. Also, the vegan crunch wraps kind of slap, like the black bean ones. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get started. Enough, enough rambling. Okay, my favorite thing, crunch wrap. I think that's pretty solid, to be honest. And we'll go ahead and do the intro just in case y'all haven't um, seen the intro. But we'll go ahead and do that. Let me turn off my music so we can listen to the lovely music of actual Stardew Valley and not my Spotify. So let's turn this on. Ugh, it's loud. It's loud for me, but let me turn it down for y'all. I turned one of the hardwood spots on Forest Farm into a fenced animal area with wood floors. Ooh, that seems pretty. 
I do have a world. I do have a farm that has over 100 hours. And it gets to the point where it's a little boring. So now I just wanted to start a new farm. And why not start a new farm on YouTube? You know? And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Sorry, I can't do voices. <laughs> I want you to have the sealed envelope. Okay, I already read that. I am a genius. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. And your bright spirit would fade into a bit. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Ignore me rereading it like five times. I just forget how slow it is. <laughs> now let grandpa rest. XX years later. Not Joja. Why does he have a sword over the fire? I don't know if there's any lore behind that, but maybe he was a monster fighter. Because we, we fight monsters and stuff in Stardew Valley, so maybe he did that when he was younger. But I haven't really noticed that before. Look at me. I'm all sad. Dear Chair, if you're reading this, you must need give the bath. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of that. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Insomniac Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? No. So if you want to know any of the mods that I have included in this Let's Play, it is in the description if you want to know. But it's a bunch of quality of life mods. We have Stardew Expanded. We have a bunch of aesthetic mods just because, of course. <laughs> so be sure to look in the description if you are thinking of any. But if you ask me, like, what mod does this, I'll try to answer for you. I'm on the bus. Look in the go. In Vanilla Stardew Valley, my go-to wifey is Leah. Who are you planning on romancing? So, actually, in my last farm, the one that I told you I had like 100 hours in, I actually went for Leah. I haven't married her, but I I did, um, she is my girlfriend in that other save. So, in this save, I'm not sure. I kind of want to go for someone who is modded. So we'll definitely look at all of our options, but yeah. Hello, you must be chair. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I have never been the type of person in Stardew Valley to, like, wife someone up, <laughs> like, romance people, because I'm just so invested in the farm. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely try to marry someone in this save. This is Insomniac Farm. Yes, they are really cute. We'll definitely see all of them today. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's still good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I want to get your stickers, but I don't have any money. No worries. 
no worries. Even just interacting with my content is very helpful. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very, um, rustic. She's cute. It's a cute house. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Okay, Robin. Dang. I don't have to be so rude. Don't listen to her chair. She's only trying to make you dissatisfied, so you buy one of her house upgrades. Mm-hmm. We know it. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you, Lewis. You can already see a few mods I installed. Aesthetic-wise. Now let me mess with the audio settings and fix it for you all so you can listen. I don't know why, but the beginning of Stardew Valley, um, it just loves to be extremely loud. <laughs> It's so loud. Okay, so now I actually have it in the audio settings I like. So y'all can go ahead and hear everything, and my audio doesn't need to be at like 3%. Is this audio all right for y'all? Thank you. Is this audio all right? How are y'all feeling about it? We're gonna have it like this. If it's too loud or anything is a little messed up, just please let me know and I'll try to fix it. Okay, so this is our new farm. I rarely play on my uh, PC now. So I have to get used to that because I'm so used to playing on my Steam Deck and my Switch. Oh, so I have to get used to all the controls. Have you never played Stardew before? It's such a cute game. <laughs> now I have to mute my starter audio because I'll get mixed up. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, you're playing Stardew with me as well. Let's go. Ugh, we're all just relaxing here. That's what I want to do with this Let's Play. Just chillax in a little frog. Oh, that's so cute. God, it is so weird, all these controls. I'm so used to playing with the controller. All right, I'm going to clear up a little space so we can start planting some of our crops but I do want to go visit everybody in town just to visit them look at me go I also do want to make a little chest and if y'all have any mod suggestions please let me know because I know we have like 50 mods installed but I'm always willing to do more. <laughs> I love mod Stardew. I love modding my cozy games. Froggy. I know Froggy's so cute. I love him. Okay. I just want to get enough wood for a chest. And then we'll go visit everyone. I'm so glad I got an extra monitor. It makes me looking at chat so much easier than just looking on my phone. Very grateful for that. So I know Celestial is playing Stardew Valley, but what are y'all doing? Your character is very cute. Thank you. The little PNG tuber avatar, it is actually a game you can play that you can make your own um, avatar. Just search like Stardew Valley avatar and it's like the first thing that comes up. And I, I really love it. It's adorable. 
And I tried to make my little my little Stardew Valley character match. Of course. Okay, so we have enough to make a little chest. Oops. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm not used to using my PC for Stardew. And we'll make this a purple chest. And we'll put all of our stuff in there. Let's plant some of our things. I finally got sprinklers for my crops. I just made my last one. Nice. What is everyone else doing? Is anyone else playing Stardew Valley? Because we know Celestial is just chilling. Ah. I kind of want to plug in my controller. I'm not used to this. But I'll live. Okay. Mm Let's plant all of our little crops. Okay. And we'll do this and this. Okay. Now let's go visit everyone. I'm trying to figure out what to draw. Oh, nice. Are you drawing digitally? Or are you drawing traditionally? What you doing? I have been such in an art block lately. I've been wanting to draw, but I haven't. <laughs> like, I haven't been able to draw anything. I'm just in such an art block right now. The only thing I've been able to draw is... Okay, this is a little embarrassing because I am 20 years old, but there is a Roblox game. <laughs> There's a Roblox game called Speed Draw and I'm addicted to it right now. I love it. It's so, it's so fun. I'm obsessed, but drawing anything, like actually drawing anything? Nope. Can't. I can't. I don't know why. Ham hey, Sam. Good to meet you. Thank you, Sam. I want to make my own Stardew Valley character. Do it! Just Google Stardew Valley Avatar, and I think it's the first suggestion that pops up. And you can make your own little character. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. Thank you, Abigail. We have matching purple hair, almost. Well, I want to say hi to Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Chair, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. Speed draw is so fun. It is, isn't it? If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll buy you produce. I'll also buy produce from you uh, for a good price. And let's say hi to you over here. Hello, you must be Chair, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Nice, nice. Do we want to buy more seeds? I think we are too poor. But we will eventually. Ooh, and Leah. I love Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet Leah as well. I know we have a Leah stan in chat, so you didn't see that. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Hello, Alex. It's usually Alex and Sam that I talk to the least. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. And we have Doggy Dusty. You give Dusty many pets. I do. Oh my god, I love him. He's baby. Let's see. Is there anyone in the saloon? I switched to making a Stardew avatar. I've seen the game before, but couldn't find it. Yeah, that's fair. Yes, the Leah stand. That is you. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop, sal Stardrop Saloon. Nice. <laughs> Our certified Leah stand. Evelyn, why hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Okay, Granny. Oh, I already looked in the trash can. Is there anyone in here? Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Okay, George. <laughs> Buzz off. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Dang. I also have this handy dandy map where it shows where everyone is, which is so nice. 
Because, like, doing a quest and then having to find the person? Ridiculous. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Thank you, Olivia. This is a modded character, and this is their modded house. It's from Stardew Expanded. I need a little Leah badge next to my account name. If I knew how to do that, I would. Because that is funny. Is there anyone in here? Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Insomniac Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Chair, isn't it? Yes, yes. Oh, this is so fun. I'm having a lot, a lot more fun streaming than I thought I would. I used to live stream games on Twitch under a different name, and that never really went anywhere. I played like Dead by Daylight and Fortnite and stuff, but honestly, uh, playing cozy games on stream and just in general is just like, I don't know, it's just way better. It just makes, it's, it's calmer. And um, I don't know, I've just been really liking playing cozy games. It's just something that I really enjoy. And it's not anything that's competitive either. Like, it's not like I'm playing Overwatch or Fortnite or other things that I play on my free time. It's like, we're just relaxing. And I really like it. Where is everyone? I'm so glad I have this little cheat code. It's like everyone has a, like a GPS on them. It's a little creepy, but... um. It's convenient. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine, I swear. Ooh. We are going to save all of the forgeables. I'm already preparing for the community center. Apologies to people who haven't played Stardew Valley before. I am kind of uh, just speeding through it. But um, if you ever need explanations on anything Stardew Valley, please ask me. I'll be happy to explain. Eek, a stranger. Okay, Sophia. She is so cute, by the way. Look at her. She's she's adorable. Ugh, she's so cute. Oh, I get a little nervous. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Oh, you're so cute. Alright, let's skedaddle. I don't know how long we're going to stream today. But um, I said this before, but if you can't uh, be here for the entire live stream, please don't worry about it. Don't feel bad at all, because tomorrow I will be uploading the entire um, live stream to my channel. So you can just watch the rest. Hello. Would you look at that? It's a new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. All right, Andy, thank you, thank you. Oh, God. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> I just, just ran into a wall. That is fine. It's fine. Who else do I need to meet? Uh, we'll look. We'll see. We'll see. Look at the little chonky cows. They're so cute. Oh, I love them. Hello? Hi. Hello. Yes, talk to a stranger little child. <sighs> Let's just go in everyone's houses right now. Is there anyone here? Oh, yes. Oh, aren't you exactly... You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Am I worse? <laughs> oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but uh, you seem okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor kid. And then we have Sam. We already met you. We already met Leah. Now let's barge in somebody else's house to say hi to Haley. Oh, you're the new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? I am. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. 
And I think we already met Penny, yeah. How many more people do we have to meet? We need more people. I'm dying my, uh, uh, I'm dying to dye my hair again. And I feel like I need a hair change, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. I actually recently dyed my hair purple. You can't see, because, uh, we're using a PNG tuber, but I did re-dye my hair. <laughs> I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. My hair has been purple since, uh, since, like, my sophomore year of high school, I think. That pun was to die for. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> hey kid, my name's Pam. Hello, Pam. And we need to meet Emily. Oh, I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. I don't know why I read that so weird. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I, I can see that. That is where you work. You made the character? Nice. I bet it's lovely. Okay. I think I'm at all the people I can meet right now. Oh, we can go to Joja and meet those people. I go for a... Sorry, I'm like reading the chat while walking. Uh, I go for a pink, reddish, darker color. I love it. That's nice. I've done... Um, I've done pink, blue, purple, of course. I've done... Pink, red, blue. It's faded to green. I've done just my bleached hair, which is like blonde. Uh, but yeah, I've just I've just liked purple. Every time I dye my hair a different color, like I just don't like it, <laughs> and I always go back to purple. It's been purple for how many years now? Since my sophomore year in high school. So, uh, like, like, uh, more than four years. I think. I haven't gone back. When I graduated, I did dye my hair brown for my graduation pictures. But, uh, yeah, it's always been purple. It's kind of my personality trait at this point, so. I feel like if my hair was, like, not purple, everyone I know would just be very concerned. Uh, I don't want to sell any of this because I want to save it. We'll take that, we'll take that, and we'll sell this. Boop, boop. I wish we were born with unnatural bright colors. Yeah, like anime characters. For real. I feel like I would be born with purple hair. It's just my personality trait. It's needed. Level 1 foraging. Let's go. That would be super fun. But imagine being in a world where, um, like, people can have unnatural hair colors and you get, like, brown hair. That would be so sad. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I want to organize the house. We're redecorating. Putting the bed over here. Yeah. And this looks ugly, so I'm gonna kill it. It's gonna die. Goodbye. Oh, we haven't checked the TV. We should do that. We have mail. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willy. Okay. Let us tend to our crops. And do maintenance. Oh, okay. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. We'll definitely go check that out. 
I spent all my money in Stardew on four chickens and four cows. Well, that's what you need, baby. You need to start somewhere. But I felt that. I'm excited to get deeper in uh, in this Let's Play. We literally just started, and I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready for end game. Hi, how are you doing? What is, how is it pronounced? Apricy? Apricity. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're here. We are playing Stardew. We're only on day two, so you came right in time. Sorry, can you hear me breathing? I need to get a new mic. Right now I'm just using my, my headphones for my mic. Which I'm sure some of y'all can tell, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am gonna chop down one more tree, and we'll go get our fishing pole. Let us go. Also, don't you think this is so cute? I literally got a mod just for the storage bin because I'm sorry, it's adorable. I needed to. We'll go to the beach. It's totally fine. Cool. I just want to make sure I'm not used to streaming at all. I just want to make sure y'all are all good. Hello, hello. Going to the beach. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm sorry, I can't do voices. I would if I could. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. Fishing pole acquired. I named all my chickens depressing name like death and misfortune and my cows happy names. That's so sad. Okay, but what I do isn't much better. Um, so in my last save, I named all of the chickens after chicken dishes. We had nugget. We had chicken marsala. We, we, we had chicken noodle. We had fried chicken. <laughs> I feel like a monster, but it was so funny. <laughs> There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. No hate to the chickens. I was bored. That That's fair. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. And all of my cows, I named them after, like, dairy products. So, of course, one was named Milkshake. We had cheese. We had cheesecake. It's really funny naming all the animals, so I can't blame you. <laughs> we'll fish a little bit. I don't know why I'm sleepy already. It is 6 p.m. I haven't played Stardew in so long, I just went to my save and have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I felt that. I have recently been in a Stardew Valley, like, binge. 
I have like a hundred and like five hours on Stardew Valley on my Steam Deck. And that's just since I bought the Steam Deck, you know, like I've been addicted and I'm kind of getting bored of that save. So I thought like, why not start streaming a new world on my YouTube channel? I don't know. I thought it would be cool and hopefully I'll enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I've been addicted to Stardew Valley. And if you're interested in Stardew Valley, stick around because I kind of want to start streaming regularly. I think I want to start streaming every Saturday. I think that would be nice. Just something weekly. It's fun. Ah. I used to hate fishing because I hated the mini game, but now I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like, I will fish for, like, all day. Like, I'll fish all day. I don't care. It's fun. Stardew Saturday? Aw, that's cute. <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. That would be nice. I do want to stream other games as well. I want to... I already scheduled a poll to go out tomorrow on which games you think uh, I should stream on my channel. But definitely Stardew is going to be a big one. Just because it's a game I really enjoy and I could honestly play for hours. But if y'all have any ideas of games you want me to try uh, like on stream, I would love to do that. It would be really fun. I'm going to fish until my inventory is full. Oh, no. We have to drop off the geodes. So maybe just one more fish and we'll go. Do y'all like the purple UIs I installed? Or the purple interface, I mean. It makes everything all nice and purple and it's very on brand. I think it's called the Starry Night UI. I do have it down in the description if you're interested, but it makes like everything really cute and purple, especially like the little background to this. It's so cute. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to drop the seaweed and the mussel and I'll come back later. It's cute. Thank you. I love it. I was thinking of installing an interface, uh, like an interface each episode, but I think that's too much work. So I will not be doing that, but um, maybe we'll switch it up sometime. Process our geodes. I love the purple. I'm obviously very biased if you can't tell, like everything is purple. <laughs> but um, it's pretty, so I don't care. Hello. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Yes, it is a rock. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or min minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I'm already ready. Oops. Okay, I did not mean to go outside. No. Let me in. Okay. 
done it. There we go. Nice, and we got money for it. Let's go. All right, now we can get those things we were meaning to. Oh, look at this little community farm. This is so cute. And I said hello to all of them. Who am I missing? Uh, introductions. Uh, I'm missing a few people, actually. Let's see who we're missing. Oh, we're missing Clint. I literally just was just in there. We can't introduce ourselves while doing business. Uh, er, hi, I'm Clint. Hello. We were, I was just in here, but we have to introduce ourselves again. Which is fine. And do we have to introduce ourselves to Senor... What's your name? Gunther. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just saying hi. Dang. Okay, who, are, who else? Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. I'm going to go back to the beach to collect a few things. Oh, hello, Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. What did I miss out here? This and... Oh, dang it. Okay, I guess we're donating that, too. There we go. Now let's head back to our farm. We can, when do these grow? Oh, they grow in the spring, so we can just plant them now. That's cool. Unpopular opinion as a Leah stand, but I just, but I despise Elliot. Only gift I will give him is seaweed. I feel like a lot of people don't like Elliot, which, you know, I would assume people would gawk over, like, the novelist, but people really don't like the guy. <laughs> and I think that's really funny. I don't really talk to Elliot that much either. So, I, gu I guess I don't, I don't really have a place to... To say anything. Also, I'm not sure which fish I need to donate in the community center once that, once that pops up, but I'll keep a couple things. Grows near water. Plant this over here. Two, three, four, five. keep this too. And I think we watered the plants. I'm pretty sure, but let me double check. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Um, so I will spend the rest of today, I guess, taking down trees. I love the ambient sounds of like the birds chirping and stuff. Dang it. I forgot how easily we run out of energy. I 
Ah, so sorry about that. My headphones disconnected, which was very nice of them. Okay. Ah! Hello? Okay. Okay. Sorry, the, the audio. Can y'all hear the audio right? Because I can't hear any audio for the game and I don't know why. I was going to bring my telescope to the local community star observatory because it was a public night, but it's too cloudy. I'm sorry. That sucks. Can y'all hear the game audio at all? You can? Huh. I don't know why I can't hear it. That was so weird. I mean, I'll live, I... Huh. That is, that is weird. I mean, if y'all can hear it, it's fine. And it's raining. Huh, let me... Let me see what's up. Maybe I'll have to restart the game. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Let me actually put the Be Right Back screen on. And I will put on some music. And I will figure it out. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong. I'll figure it out, though. I'll keep my mic on so we can continue talking. I just want to uh, take it off the game screen so I can uh, fix it. Go get a snack. Yes, break time. Get a snack. Get some water. Just chillax. And we will continue gaming very shortly. I just didn't know what was on with the, with the audio. That is messed up. But yes, go get a snack. Go do all your things. I definitely need a water break. I've been talking so much. So I can hear the audio now, so I'm assuming y'all can too. So let's bring us back to our save. 
and let me make sure we're all good. Don't know what was up. My headphones just disconnected. That was so rude. All right, but let's get back into it. Okay, let me switch my screen. All righty. We are back. So sorry for that little hiccup. Hopefully you took this time to get some water. Audio's good now? Okay, cool. Good, good. Thank you so much for having my back. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm just loading in. Alright, okay. There we go. Audio is all good now. Yay. I really love when it rains. It just, it sounds so lovely. Let's check. Fortune teller. Oh god, sorry. I was drinking a Baja Blast. It needed to be done. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I don't need to water our crops. Yay, let's go. Let's check the mail. Advertising. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out an affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. King. King of advertisement, I'd say. Um, so, isn't he closed on Wednesdays? Is it Wednesdays, Tuesdays? I think it's Wednesdays. I was gonna get more seeds from him. Dang it. It's fine. We'll do other things today, I guess. We can go fishing. We can meet other people that I need to meet. We can clean up a little bit. We'll clean. Just a tad. Okay. Puddle. Yeah, Wednesday he's closed. Dang it. It's always when I need him. Always. Can I go down this room? Thank you. I love the rain sounds. I don't want to take down too much of the grass because I want to use it for the silo and all that. So I won't be taking down too much grass. So satisfying. I know it is. I know it. Can I please? Two, three, four. There we go. Nice. And those crops are nice because we don't need to do anything. <laughs> we will make another chest. I want to make a chest filled with things that we need to donate to the community center. I think that would be wise. We'll put it over here. We'll make it matching with that. And we'll put community center stuff in there. Which is this, this, I think this, 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 maybe this. 
I think these are all the things that we need for the community center right now. Which is nice. And maybe we'll start organizing stuff. I don't want to use too much wood, but at the same time I do want to be organized. Okay, so today, what can we do? We can go check out if the mine is open. I don't think it is, but we'll double check. We can go this way, actually. That's blocked off. Oh, I don't think we've seen Linus yet. Is he in here? Oh, he is. A stranger? Hello. Hello, Linus. I think they're still working on the mine entrance. Hmm. Let us see. Yeah, he is. Ah, okay. We'll come back later. It's fine. I really like that the areas you need to dig up are little moons. That may be the UI? I'm not sure what does that. Another book. I don't think we've met Demetrius yet. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, you're welcome. And we got no one in the basement. Okay, where is everyone? He's over here. Okay. You know what? We'll check him out. Let's have a few more people to meet in town. Look at all the fishies. Sebastian was over here. Is he still over here? Where is he? Oh, he's at the beach. Okay. One nudgy guy. I need to say hi to you. Wait. Yeah. And I do want to donate this. So we'll go back up. And then we'll fish a little bit, and then once our energy's out, I guess we'll go to sleep early. I mean, I can't do much. At least in, like, the first couple weeks. But that's okay, because we're just hanging out. We're chilling. fish a little. I know a lot of people hate the fishing mini game, but I, I enjoy it. <sighs> I had to work today, so I'm a little tired. Making the snack now. Let's go. Let me know what you end up making. Love me some snacks. Dang it. Okay. Nice. 
I'm actually going to change the sound for the bobber to be a little... I like that one. Yeah. I'm one of the people who hate the fishing game. I used to be a hater. I used to be a hater of the fishing game. But my boyfriend loved fishing so much. I'm like, what is it about fishing that he loves so much? And then I actually tried it, like, t tried to get better at it. And then I was like, oh, I do like it. So you know what? I'm an ex-hater too. And I don't even blame you. Heading out, heading back to the farm, because we can't do much. We will check all the trash cans, though. So, I think I can sell the rest. I don't know what I need in the fishing bundle, but it's fine. We're good. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go to sleep now. Okay, that was aggressive. Didn't like that. Okay. I'm already making a little place for all my things. our chests better, but uh, for now, we'll just do this, and we'll keep this one with our tools. To do. And I'm gonna put... I'm gonna plant these trees so I can end up using them for, uh, what's it called? For tappers and all that. What's tomorrow gonna be like? I think we already looked at this today. Gonna be sunny and clear. Okay, cool. Level one fishing already. Let's go. Me just sold a little bit. And now we'll finally get more seeds. Actually, let us... I don't think I need to water these. Yeah, I don't think I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do need to water them. Let me just do that just in case. Okay, no I don't. Okay, cool. I thought I did.
downloading Stardew Expanded right now. Nice! Make sure you have everything installed, like Smappy and all of the different uh, requirements. Uh, but yeah, definitely, Stardew Valley Expanded is so fun. It adds so much content to the game. Gravel Path. But I definitely recommend it. I played it a little bit before, but um, I haven't gone too in-depth. I need to go more in-depth in this playthrough. What do you play on? Do you play on PC, Steam Deck? What you looking at? Let's go ahead and go to town to get more seeds. The Stardew Valley soundtrack is so good. I love it. We still haven't met a couple people, actually. We need to meet two more people. Who, who are the people that we need to meet? Marlin, Marnie... Regular Stardew is so confusing to me. I don't know how people play Expanded. It seems so cool. I mean, it's it's definitely something to get used to. Um, I played Stardew Valley Vanilla like a, a few times. Um, I played Vanilla like a lot. So playing Expanded just makes me play all of the Expanded. Th I don't know. I don't know how to explain it well. Um, but it's really it's really fun. Stardew on. I would prefer to play Stardew Valley on my Steam Deck just because it's portable and I can install mods, but I also have Stardew um, on my PC, of course, and I do have it on my Switch. Uh, but what is y'all's preferred method of playing Stardew Valley? I would definitely like to know. But if you want to see the beginning of the stream and everything that we did, uh, I am going to be posting the entire video of the live stream tomorrow, so you can watch it back. Love your model. Totally matches the game. Hello, so cute and pixelated theme. Yeah, so this is actually, um, like, you know Pit Cruise, how you can make your own little characters? This is actually, like, a little game you can play if you just search Stardew Valley, uh... Stardew Valley, what is it called? Avatar, you can make your own little character, and I made mine to match my little Stardew Valley character. So it's not something I drew, it's something I found online, and you can make your own if you'd like. I need to put that in the description. I'll put it in the description of my live stream. Uh, but yeah, if you just search Stardew Valley Avatar, it should pop up. I play it on my iPad because I don't have a PC or anything else. How is it on your iPad? 
I have never played the mobile version of uh, Stardew Valley. I've heard it's pretty good, and I've heard you can even mod it, which is pretty cool. Hey, you're so close to 500 subs. Let's go. You'll be a YouTube partner soon. Yes, thank you. I am so excited. Your live streams will count towards the watch time hours too. Ooh, actually, that's awesome. I think the only thing I need to be a YouTube partner is the subscribers. I think I have enough watch time hours, but that is good to know because I do want to start streaming every uh, every weekend. But that's awesome. I made my PNG, PNG tuber models on Pit Crew too. So I added the freeware sources in the VTuber corner on the Discord. Yeah. You're a game modder too. <laughs> nice. I have another PNG tuber that I use um, that I drew myself. But since it's since we're playing Stardew Valley, I thought it would just be, I don't know, in theme if I used this little Stardew Valley character. <laughs> I just thought it would look nice. But I do have another PNG tuber model that I use. I am thinking of doing webcam streams, but personally, I think that the little PNG tubers look super cute. So, you know, we'll see. But, uh, but yeah. This is my first live stream on my YouTube channel, and I am very excited about it. Yes, I do. I do remember you. I do. Yeah. We're in the Discord server. It totally matches. I know, it's so cute. I already forgot what we're doing today. We are just reorganizing our farm. It's pretty good. I've never tried mods on it though. I don't really know how to mod on mobile, but um, there are a bunch of mods that I downloaded that have mobile versions. So maybe you can look into that if you want to play with mods. Pit Crew is a lifesaver. Glad the image maker I used on mine allowed it for commercial use, etc. Yeah, that's nice. That's really good. I know that a bunch of people on Etsy also sell, like, uh, PNG tubers, so I think that's super cool. I did end up making my own, but honestly, I don't know if I want to hire someone to make a PNG tuber just because other people are more experienced, but I really enjoyed making my own not played this game before but definitely gonna get it soon stardew valley is so fun and if you look in my description i actually have a bunch of mods installed so um yeah i have a bunch of mods on this game and i am just actually obsessed and i think it's such a good stream game just because it's so cozy and it just allows me to i don't know talk to the talk to the comment section talk to the viewers it's just super nice you bought stuff off of etsy too yeah I'm even thinking of selling like stream things on Etsy as well, but that's just another another hobby and I need to stop getting hobbies. Ugh. I am the kind of person that um that do that does does too many hobbies and I need to stop. Let me eat this snacky snack. Nice. Let me cut more grass. Love the movement style you added in the program for the PNG tube. Thank you so much. It is actually, um, I use, I think it's called Vienno tube. It's a free resource for VTubers, for PNG tubers. And I really enjoy it. I think it's uh, really nice, especially because this particular PNG tuber doesn't blink. Um, so it is really nice. I like the movement because you can tell when I'm talking and when I'm not. But I want to edit this uh, PNG tuber a little bit so it does blink and does have, like, mouth movements. But that'll be another time. I think I want to turn up the ambient music, actually, because I'm just so, like, enthralled by it. I'll turn it up a little bit. And we keep having to sleep early because I have not that much energy that I'm used to. I keep burping. I'm sorry. I'm drinking soda. That's what I used to. It's also included in free verses. It's nice. Yeah, I love it. It's really good. I don't even remember where I heard it from. But um, if anyone else out there wants to be a PNG tuber, definitely download Vienna Tube. It's really cool. 
Ooh, that's nice. That's cool. How much energy do we have? We have 26. That isn't bad. The inner tube is better because less memory usage and it works like a charm. Yeah, I actually use my laptop as well. Um, I am fortunate enough that I bought another monitor and a keyboard. So um, it actually kind of looks like I have a PC. <laughs> I have my laptop on the side where my chat is and all my streaming stuff. And then on the big monitor, I'm playing the game. Which is really cool. My laptop is working like a champ, but she does have multiple fans on her, so <laughs> so she's she's struggling a little bit, but um, she'll live. <laughs> yeah, it does handle it well for streaming. I agree. Now we get to go to sleep. Also, thank you for checking out my stream. I really appreciate it. I don't remember if I thanked you before, but thank you. I'm using the cheapest LOL uh, HP stream laptop, those college ones. Yeah. Oh, dang. And you're, and you're streaming on that? That's awesome. Well, I hope, I hope your laptop has a long life ahead of you. That's why mainly PS4 gaming. Yeah, that's fair. Hello, Cher. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you are the new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the Martin Mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully, the mess Jojo made will be cleared up soon, because I'm going to I'm going to blah blah blah. Because I'm going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up, Susan. Oh, thank you, Susan. I don't care about Jojo Mart. Uh uh, we're not doing a Jojo run. We're not doing that today. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I actually sold my PS4 so I could buy a Steam Deck. Like, I, that's, that's what I did. Because I wanted to use my PS4 for streaming, but, um, I play on my PC more, so I just thought it was a better idea for me to just, uh, do this instead. I don't know. Oh, my inventory's full. Dang it. Let me put my seeds over here, actually. And we finally got our first crops of the series. Let's go. Raising animals, build a coop. Nice. So we will keep one for the community center. And we can go ahead and sell the rest, which is nice. Because money, money is nice. So that's 14 crops I need to replant. Okay, cool. We will water, get more plants. I want to start streaming, so thank you for the PNG maker. maker. Yeah, definitely. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I know I'm pretty new to being a YouTuber and live streamer and all that, but if you have any questions, please just ask. I'm not one to gatekeep. So um, yeah, just let me know if you need any advice or you know suggestions on what to use. I don't know, whatever. Just let me know. Okay, we got those planted. So we put our stuff back and we can head to Pierre's to get more plants. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Hello, Lewis. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. 
Joja Corporation has been hand, hand hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh, well. If anyone buys another Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I won't let that happen. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. I think I know that word. I am horrible at reading. <laughs> Look at him! He is baby. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? It was right here! I saw it, officer! He was right here. You saw something? Huh. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Look at him. Lewis, no. You're worrying me, chair. Dang. Look, I think we're going to head home. I need some lunch. Don't we all? Ugh, for lunch today, I had a crunch wrap. It was so good. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Definitely. Y'all, be sure to drink water if you haven't today. Let me be a reminder. Because if I'm thirsty, y'all are probably thirsty. That's my rule. <laughs> like when my friends come over or anything and I'm really thirsty, I'm like, you need to drink water too because you're probably thirsty. I need a smallmouth bass for a burrito making. That sounds kind of yummy. Uh, where can I find smallmouth bass? Uh, collections, fishies... It's in fresh water, so that's river, I believe. Oh, I wanted to buy seeds. I get distracted. Okay, we want to buy 14 seeds. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, oh, oh, we don't have that much money. Okay, five's fine. Okay, we just bought as many as we could. It's fine. We'll live. Now, let's go find some fishy for Willy. Hello. Do you like a da daffodil? Thanks. Okay. Well, I guess he was okay with it. That isn't bad. Glasses, perfect. Oh, and I am a horrible YouTuber, but uh, uh, if if you like the video, um, like it. <laughs> And if you aren't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe if you want to. Uh, but yeah, like the video, maybe comment uh, what kind of other videos you would like me to see or different live streams. And I'll definitely keep it in mind. Um, since I am a small YouTuber, I am excited because I get to respond to every single one of these comments. Um, so that's that's a really good thing about being a small YouTuber is that I can, I can read everything. Um, so yeah, if you want to leave a comment on any of my videos or just talk on live chat here, uh, please let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. Because I'm relatively new to all this. I've only been posting on this channel for, I think, 
a little over a month. So, yeah, I'm pretty new to this. <laughs> I'm back. Couldn't figure out uh, a lot of mods. Out mods. Um, you can look at, um, so you said you have it on your PC, right? There are a bunch of tutorials on how to install uh, mods correctly on PC, so I recommend that you look at those. I have a very short, like, one minute tutorial on, um, on how to download mods on your Steam Deck, which is the exact same thing on how to install mods on a uh, PC. So if you want like a really shortened version of just the absolute basics, you can look at that reel. It's a reel on this channel, so you can definitely look at it. But I do suggest uh, looking up how to download Smappy, which is something you need for almost every single mod in Stardew, and just how to install mods correctly. There are a bunch of cool YouTube videos. So definitely look at that. And yeah, I, I do always respond to your comments. I really love responding to everyone's comments. Even if it's just a thank you, I do enjoy it. Because all y'all are so nice. I haven't received a hate comment yet. I say yet because it's it's inevitable. But um, everyone's been so kind. And I really love it. Everyone is so sweet to me. Especially just the cozy game and like art community. Y'all are fantastic. I'll be fine. I'll save it for future me. <laughs> I felt that. I'm like, that's a problem for later me, actually. I don't want to deal with it right now. Which is completely fair. And honestly kind of funny. Have I gotten- yeah, I have gotten smallmouth bass. That's what he wanted, right? I've just been fishing. Smallmouth bass for Willy. I think he is... Yeah, he's at his store, so we'll just go there. If I did a hate comment on you, it'd be like, how dare you be an amazing, cozy person? Thank you! That's so sweet! Yeah, how dare I want to create cozy content? How dare I? I am a monster. I'm I'm just the worst. Do you like fish? He does like fish. Willie, take your fish and take a gift. Look, I'm just I'm handing out gifts everywhere. And also buy my things. Boop boop boop. Let's fish a little more. I'm assuming the majority of y'all hate fishing, so I am so sorry that I keep doing it, but it, it is something I enjoy, especially in early game, because there's not much else to do. We'll check if the mine is done not being locked. We'll, we'll check. So to my folks who've played Stardew Valley before, uh, what's your favorite thing to do in Stardew Valley? I think one of my favorite things to do is um, farming. I really love farming and just like taking care of like the chickens and stuff. I love doing that. And also fishing, of course. I hate fishing, but I like people like watching people do it. Okay, well, good then, because <laughs> I like fishing and I will record it for you to watch. Yep. That was definitely a sentence. I want, I want, oh no, 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 oh no, ah. Oh. Okay, now I don't want to fish anymore because that was mean. Foraging, foraging is nice. I think that's cool. I like foraging. I guess I like everything about Stardew Valley. I even like mining. I don't know, I, I just, I this game is great. <laughs> it's really great. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna check if the mine was open. Uh, so we'll do that real quick. I was going to dig in the trash, but I don't want him to get mad at me. Hello. Hello. Okay, well, I don't really know you either, sir. 
Foraging is fun. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy exploring everywhere. It should be. It's the fifth. Oh, okay. There, it's an actual day. I, I never got that. I guess that makes sense. Here we go. And I can give this turnip to George. Cool. I didn't know it's on the fifth that it unlocks. Also, the mine should be here in vanilla. But since we have Stardew Valley expanded, it actually moved. So if that confused you, um, it confused me too. <laughs> when I first started playing Stardew Valley Expanded. But, uh, yeah, the mine's actually over here. Here is the Adventurer's Guild that I can't get in now. And here's the mine. I like explore origin. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hmm. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight or skill with a sword quite yet. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's embedded with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters here. Cool. He received a rusty sword. Let's go. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about you making you a member. Cool. We don't have much mana and we don't have inventory space. So we are actually going to do this tomorrow instead of today. Just because we don't have the energy or the, uh, or the inventory. So we'll be back. We'll do this tomorrow. We'll go to sleep early even. So we can get that over with. Into the beginning of like the, of Stardew Valley, it's a lot of sleeping early because there's just not that much to do unless you unlock things. So sorry that all the days are pretty short. It's just that uh, there's not much to do right now. I do want to keep this leak for George so I can give him something. I gifted a few people things, which is nice. So we will wait on that. Also, isn't this little bush so cute? I keep walking by it and it's, and it's cute. And this pink tree. I like it. I want to pick it up, please. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Okay, I'll throw away this trash. And this driftwood. Okay, so I can pick it up. Explore the mine. I am loving the stream. I'm glad you're planning on streaming more. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you're so kind. Thank you so much for for sticking here. And you always comment such nice things on my videos too. I really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure these are all watered. I can never tell. now it's bedtime and yeah I plan on streaming every uh, every Saturday honestly I'll make a post about it later but um, I guess y'all are hearing it first but I do want to start streaming every Saturday um, I want to start streaming uh, every weekend um, I'll start off with once a week but if it catches up if people really enjoy it I'll try to up it up into Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. We'll work out my schedule, of course. But, um, yeah. Um, I think there are a couple Saturdays I won't be able to stream just because I have art markets to do. But, um, my Tuesday, Friday schedule of uploading will stay the same. So, you'll always have content to watch. Our farming's up. Let's go. And that concludes day five. 
So with that, I am actually going to go to the bathroom and get some water and a little snack. So um, please take a little break, get some water, go to the bathroom, make some food, and I will be right back. I'm going to put on some music for y'all to listen to, and I'll be back in around five minutes, something like that. We'll put on more Stardew Valley music that you can listen to. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining. I will be right back. Just five minutes, so don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be right back.
guys. I am back. I'm back. I need to read all the chats that y'all have been saying without me. Oh my goodness. How, how dare y'all have conversations. Now I need to read all of it. <laughs> Alright, what are y'all saying? It's my job to be kind. Oh, you're very sweet. Snack time. Yes, we did have snack time. I drank some water. I lit some incense in my room. It smells so nice now. It's it's just very relaxing, especially because it's a handmade incense stick. So it's like, it's really potent. Oh, it smells so nice in my room now. I had some water. I had a little snack. I had seaweed. Uh, I get, It's just a seaweed snack. It's literally just seaweed like roasted seaweed. It was pretty yummy. Um, would you ever play horror games? I am not sure. Actually, in my own time, I do enjoy playing some horror games. But for this channel, I kind of wanted to stick to cozy games until I got a little bit more popular and had a little bit more leniency, just because it's good for people that first start out doing YouTube to stick to one certain niche and then branching out once they get a little bit bigger. So for right now, I'm just playing some cozy games, though if you do like horror games, the very last video I posted um, is actually a horror game. So it's called uh, Pumpkin Panic. And it's a horror game that's kind of like a cozy game, but not really. Um, so if you want to see me playing a horror game, that one is up on my channel if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I don't really play. I don't really plan on playing horror games uh, on my channel. But um, if I get enough like people asking, I'm definitely not opposed. Uh, what else? You're playing a horror game right now. That's cool. And we know Celestial is playing Stardew. And the game that you're playing is Next Door. I don't think I've heard of that game before. But yeah. Thank you so much for sticking with me while we had our little break. I needed some water. I needed some little snackies. But now let's get to day six. And be sure that y'all are keeping hydrated because I know. I know my cozy gamers out there. They're not as hydrated as they should be. Yes, I'm targeting you. Drink more water. <laughs> I demand it. All right. Ugh, another day. So excited. And, uh, so this is a little surprise. But since y'all have been here for a while, I might as well tell you. But we recently hit 400 subscribers on this channel, which is so exciting. I am almost a YouTube affiliate, which is so cool. A YouTube partner, I mean. Sorry, affiliates for Twitch. But I am almost a YouTube partner, which is so awesome. So I decided what not, what about, I can't work. What not better to do? than to buy the newest cozy game and stream it for you all. So I actually pre-purchased Fay Farm. So if you've heard of Fay Farm, it is a new cozy game that's coming out and everyone is super excited about it. I pre-ordered the game and we are actually going to be live streaming it on the day of its launch. So that's super exciting. I have not announced it on my channel yet, okay? But I guess y'all are the first to hear since y'all are here on my very first live stream you should know uh but yeah i plan on live streaming fey farm the day it comes out which is i believe it is september 8th so it's not a saturday but it is a friday stream and on top of that i will i kind of do want to do another stream on uh saturday as well so yeah on Next Friday, actually, I will be streaming Fay Farm. I will be announcing it to my channel, uh, I think Monday, I believe. So y'all are getting to know first. <laughs> so thank you for watching. But yeah, we're going to be playing Fay Farm and I'm so excited for this game. So excited. Oh, it's going to be so cute. And today I did want to go 
mining, so let's just go with our sword, pickaxe, and we'll go with an axe. And let's head out. I do not think we have, or we do have enough for a little snack. Actually, I'll leave this here and I'll just take two leaks of a snake. A little snake, snake. Okay, yeah, I'm very excited. Like, even if, like, people don't come to the live stream, I, I still really want to play the game. So, I bought it. I say it's for uh, the channel because we hit 400 subscribers. But, um, it's actually a little bit because I just really want to play Fae Farm and I want an excuse to buy it. It looks so fun. If y'all haven't seen, um, like, any, uh... Not spoilers, but if you haven't seen any trailers or anything like that for the game, it is your typical cozy game. It is a farming simulator, but it has to do with magic, and you can even get little fairy wings to fly around, and it just seems so cute, and it's an indie game, so it's nice to support indie game developers, which I think is super cool. It is a tad expensive. It's about $40 for the base game and it's $60 for the uh, uh, deluxe edition. Uh, it's a little bit high for a indie game, but um, I don't mind, honestly. I think it'll be a good game. Everybody's been so hyped for it and I'm very excited. So yeah, we're gonna be streaming that next week on Friday. And on Saturday, I want to stream Stardew Valley again. So yeah, I'm very excited to announce that. And y'all get to hear it first, because y'all came to the stream. And I guess people who watch the YouTube video as well get to hear it. <laughs> so if you're watching on YouTube, thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, y'all get to know early too. I'm changing my YouTube profile picture to the Stardew Valley avatar in a second. Okay. I'll be sure to zoom in on your avatar so I can see it. Let me actually look at it right now. I think you changed it. Let me put it on pause and double check. Because I want to see your little icon. Oops, my own stream is playing in the background. Aww! <laughs> Your little character is so cute! That's adorable. I love it. It looks really nice. I have to go now because it's late and I need to sleep. Okay! Please go to sleep. I hope you sleep well. And if you want to watch the rest of the stream, it will be uploaded tomorrow at the very latest. So you can watch the rest of the stream. So don't feel bad about missing it. Yeah. Well, good night. I hope you sleep well. Yeah, I saw. I really like your profile picture. It's adorable. Oh, there we, go. we already made it to level five. Let's go. We are miners. We are exploring. I had to center it so it's more in the middle. Yeah. Bye, Moon. Yeah, bye, Moon. Very nice to, to meet you on live. Because I feel like I've talked to a lot of you already, but it hasn't been live. So I feel like I'm meeting all of you for the first time, which is cute. Oh, my God. Die. Thank you for the great stream. Yeah, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Now get some rest, go to sleepy. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ah, leave me alone. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Not yet. Okay. Uh, how long have we been streaming actually? I don't even know. For two hours? Dang! Doesn't feel like that much time. I'm not sure how long I want my live streams to be, but they'll always be at least two hours, I think. I think two hours is a good minimum time. 
I don't know if I'll be doing any 24 hour streams, but it will definitely be over too. <laughs> yeah. I'm already excited on how we're gonna decorate our farm, her and do all this stuff, and we already started. I never realized it, but your channel grew really fast. You're already at 410. I think the sticky business helped because, uh, help, I bought it after I saw you play it. Oh, nice. I'm glad you really enjoyed that video. So yeah, my channel blew up really fast, actually. I made a couple of sticky business videos. So I ended up just making one sticky business video because it's a game I really anticipated. And I just decided to record it because, I don't know, why not? I mean, I had an art business, so why not just record me playing an art game? I thought that would be cool. And I didn't look at my channel for a couple weeks. And when I looked back on my channel, it had like thousands of views. And I was like so in shock of just how much everybody liked that video. So immediately, once I found out that um, a lot of people liked it, I made a part two and um, I made an art vlog and now I'm going to post two times a week. I have not been a big channel. I mean, I have not been a channel for that long. I mean, I've only had this channel for what, like a month and it's already blown up to like over 400 subscribers. That's crazy and I'm, I'm so grateful for everyone. And it's, it's insane how that one video just did so well and now this is like, what I do weekly, <laughs> which I think is super fun. I don't know. I used to stream on Twitch uh, back when I was in college, um, and that never really went anywhere. I never really had a schedule. It was just something I did because a lot of my friends also streamed, so I was like, yeah, why not stream? Never really went anywhere. I think um, the, the, the Twitch subscribers I had, or the Twitch uh, followers I had, was about 30 maybe it was under a different name it was under asleep insomniac but yeah um me making this channel was kind of just a big change i've always wanted to make content i've always wanted to make videos and i'm really glad that that sticky business video kind of motivated me to do that because i really enjoy it hello can i please fight you what the heck ah Oh yeah, I'm really happy. It's really exciting. Especially because I'm going to be a YouTube partner, like, so soon. It's so exciting. And it's all thanks to y'all, really. Like, I didn't do much. I don't know, I just sat in my room and made YouTube videos. Y'all are the ones that are blowing it up and everything. Can you please die? Oh my gosh. I'm, like, saying the sentimental thing while I'm absolutely murdering these little monsters. I have horrible grammar. No worries. So do I. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry if I read your things a little weird. It's hard for me to get past typos sometimes, and that's not your fault at all. You finished Sticky Business? It has an end? I didn't know that. I only played it for like two episodes. I actually need to make another episode soon. Um, I plan on making a new episode... Uh, for Friday, I think, of Sticky Business. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know it had an end. That's cool. Sorry I was rambling on. I wasn't really watching else comments. <laughs> we are just going in the mines. Ooh, we have booties. Let's go. Let's put our little booties on. I'm so excited. Heck yeah. It's me just playing cleaning. That's how I play the game. As intended. Okay, 
let's go back home. But yeah, I'm really glad that people uh, bought the game Sticky Business because of my video. That's really awesome. So tired from the mine. I'm glad we brought food, though. And we got a bunch of things, actually. We'll definitely need to do that. Next Door was a very good game. Is a very good game. What's it about? I don't think I've heard that game before. I'll definitely look it up after I finish streaming. But, uh, it's a horror game, you said? What are you playing it on? Look at us making it in bed in time. Level 1 mining! Yes! And level 1 combat. Let's go. Okay, my mic was muted. Sorry. Alrighty. Queen of Sauce. Here, this week's dish, stir fry. Nice. So I learned how to make stir fry. Let's go. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints laying around here. I want you to have them. Well, thank you. Thank you. Learned how to craft a furnace. Cool. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thank you. Celestial. I start work on Tuesday. I have already started my third year of college two weeks ago. Congratulations! So you're a junior in college now? That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. That is so cool. So you've been exploring the mines. Slight head size. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, and then Robin wants me to make something. And today is my birthday. I know you might think it's selfish of me to remind you of that, but I like gifts too. Okay, Lewis. But that's awesome that you're in your third year of college and you're starting your little job. Let's go. I only went to college for one year, but um, I'm glad that you're, you stuck with it, you know? I stopped going to college after a year because it just wasn't for me. I decided to start my business instead and it's been going pretty well. And um, college isn't for everyone, but I am really glad that uh, you like college. Or at least want to attend college. That's good for you. Everyone has different life plans, and that's great. May I ask what your major is? Or what you're studying? You don't need to answer if you're uncomfortable, but I was just wondering. So I think we have enough to craft a furnace. We need stone. I got that. And we will make a little furnace. Nice. And we'll put it here. Maybe we'll go mining more today. Uh, we can do that. But we need to water the plants first.
about having a creepy neighbor. Okay. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it, I just ran one of my crops. I didn't mean to. Ugh. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I'll just put a random mixed seed there. Dang it. It's fine. But at what cost? I really like this, but I wish it was like the same color as the house. I really like it though, but I, I wish it was a different color. I'm going to electrical engineering, but I do volunteer at a children's art class as a helper. Oh, shut up. That's so cute. Oh, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> when I went to college, actually, I majored in technical theater production and my focus was, um, uh, was lights, was lighting engineering. So very, very similar to what I did, actually. I wanted to focus on lighting programming and all that and I still love technical theater I still love theater of course but um I don't know college wasn't for me and that's all right that it wasn't for me but um yeah that was my major and I actually <laughs> I actually always said that um when I get old and wrinkly and can't do anything I want to be an art teacher like I want to be like a kooky old art lady like that's what I want to be when I'm old and wrinkly. So that's actually really interesting that we have very similar, I don't know, we have very similar, not career goals, but I don't know, we're just similar. That's cool. Clint, you're not giving me anything good. Okay, well he gave me one thing. Ugh, fine. But that's lovely. I like my major, but enjoy art in my free time a little more. Yeah, that's completely fair. That is fair. Right now I'm working on my business, so that's been taking up my time. But, um, and my business has to do with art, so I'm doing art as my job, which I'm very fortunate to do. But I am looking to get another job because, uh, oh, I haven't met this person before. I have been looking to get another job. I kind of want to work at the Performing Arts Center in my town, just because it, it's like technical theater and it's, uh, Oh no, it's something I enjoy, so hopefully I can get a job at the Performing Arts Center. But if not, I'm just gonna, I don't know, try to work anywhere that'll take me. <laughs> but I would prefer to work at, um, somewhere like that. So yeah. I have to stay in college though, my parents. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I'm glad they're encouraging you to do something, at least. I know it's probably not what you want to hear, but, uh, I'm glad that they're, uh supportive in that even if it's a little harsh and it's really um not courageous but it's very uh <laughs> I don't know very good of you to stay in college like I think that's a uh, that's a good life plan sorry I don't mean to sound like a parent or anything but uh college can be a good choice for me personally wasn't wasn't something I wanted to do but um I don't doubt that you'll do well. At all. I wish I could take that off right now. Dang it. Oh, I wanted to go mining again. I watered all the plants. Okay, I can go. I can skedaddle. I can leave. I love college though, so I wouldn't drop out. That's good. That's good to stay committed to something. I really enjoyed college when I was in college. Well, I mean, I was only a year, so, you know. But um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoy learning so much, especially my history class. I was thinking about becoming a history major just because I love the class so much. It's so interesting to me. I really enjoyed the classes, but I am a horrible tester. My grades did not match, like, me at all. Because I am a horrible tester. I'm not that good at quizzes. I do good essays. I do really good essays, but um, I don't know. I'm just a horrible tester and I didn't get my 504 plan from high school. So I didn't get any um, amenities or anything like that. And it just wasn't for me. I wish I could just go to college to learn and like not get a degree, but I could just sit in the professor's classes and just learn. I wish I could do that, uh, but that's not how it works. So, <laughs> you know. Everything works out differently, and that's all right. Oops. 
I wanted to use the elevator. I think I do want to go back to college though, at least community college. Maybe for something like big business? I'm not 100% sure though. I don't like those bugs. Oh, okay. No! Leave me alone! song so do I honestly all the mining songs slap they go so hard they go so hard man your passion and what you can do yeah of course everyone should follow their passion where is the bug Die. having such meaningful conversations. I know, that's what cozy games will bring you. Right? I feel like if we were playing Fortnite, we wouldn't be having these conversations. <laughs> I hate that bug. He is so annoying. No, I don't want to deal with you. I see a lot of Leave me alone. I just want to have a peace peaceful mining endeavor. Not with me spam clicking on these guys. Jesus. I was thinking, I need to figure out how to do all the streaming stuff on YouTube. Like the pop-up that says thank you for subscribing and all that. I don't know how to do that. I need to figure that out. I should have figured that out before I live stream. <laughs> it's fine. We're chilling. We only have like... You know what? I don't even want to look at the viewers. Because that doesn't matter. But uh... I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't think anybody will notice. Everyone sh <laughs> I don't like these bugs. They're so scary. Me alone. Me alone. Okay. We're off. This song slaps. Die. I did it. I did it. I did it. I can enter the Adventurer's Guild now. Let's go. Let's go. 
Ah, uh, yes, I'm very skilled at combat in Stardew Valley. I just, I just keep clicking. I, I just, oh, okay. Stop it! Stop it. There's so many of you. I hate these bugs. Ouch. Ugh, they're so annoying. I hate floors 10 through 30. The ice floors and below are all right. Yeah, that's fair. I don't like... I don't know. I don't know what mines I like. <laughs> I definitely don't really like the icy floors, but the dark ones are, like, the worst. Okay, I can't go in. Dang it. I forgot I should have left earlier so I can go inside the Adventurer's Guild. Sorry, I left to go kill a fly in my in my door. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Not the trapped fly in the dorm. How did I even get in there? One thing I really enjoyed about my dorm. Not many things I enjoyed about the dorm. But uh, one thing I enjoyed is the fact that there were like no bugs. Because I was on like the 11th floor. So like if there's a bug up there. You know, we have, there There should be concerns. There was no bugs. It was fantastic. No bugs. Because of, how is a bug going to go all the way to the 11th floor? Window was open. On the dorms that I was in, you couldn't open the window. So, I guess, I guess that's why too. At least you can get some airflow in there, dang. I have so many horrible dorm stories. Again, I've only I only was in college for a year, but like the experience I experiences I had could like God, fill a book. Or something. I can finally smell things. We have one golden, uh, golden parsnip. Nice. So we can put it here. And sell the rest. You can only open it two inches. Eh. It's better than nothing, I guess. 
guess. I mean, I, I understand why they don't want you to open the windows, but at the same time, let people breathe, maybe? Especially, like, imagine the air conditioning going out or something and you can't open the window, I would simply die. I would die. I, too, have many dorm stories. Yep. Many a dorm story. Do you have a roommate or is it just you? best friend as your roommate that's nice good uh i'm so glad because i had a horrible roommate i actually had to switch my roommates and both of them were bad <laughs> one of them was less bad but uh, still not great so i'm glad you have your best friend as your roommate that must be oh, so so much better jesus I'm really happy for you Wasn't very fun. But I live. Barely. I heard you can catch frogs, but I don't know how to catch a frog. And I want to. my dad is helping us get an apartment so we have to find two more roommates all right well at least you have one person uh that you know and trust but that's really uh that's really awesome that your dad's helping you with that i'm glad you have a support system i'm glad we have that No more dorm bathroom for real do you have a communal bathroom you share with the floor or do you have like a bathroom that you share with your roommate because i had a communal bathroom that was the worst the worst and you know how um you know how i have purple hair i may or may not have allegedly stained the communal bathroom shower uh, allegedly, though. No one knows. <laughs> but allegedly... Allegedly, I'm the one who stayed in the bathroom. Uh, but don't tell anyone that. <laughs> communal! Uh, uh, communal bathrooms are so bad, dude. They're the worst. I got something in my eye. Oh god. Can I game in these conditions? I like had a hand sanitizer on my hands and then I touched my eye. This is not ideal. Oh god. Okay, it's better now. Okay, no, it's not. It still stinks. Okay. We're gonna pretend like this is What 
What if one of the showers had a purple stain? LOL. None do, though. <laughs> That'd be fun. Imagine we just went to the same college. The purple stain is still there. Sorry, I'm trying to point you out the hand sanitizer I literally accidentally put in my eye. It do hurt. I still don't have the recipe for fertilizer, because I want to make some quality crops, but I don't have the fertilizer for it. Oh, I do! Oh, I'm stupid. When did I get that? What? What? Make all of it. seeds. Uh, how many did I say? 5, 9, 10, 11. 11 seeds. Oh god, I can't. Oh good. Sorry, I misread that. Uh, I'm enjoying live streaming a lot more than I thought I would. Of course I used to live stream uh, on Twitch, but I played like multiplayer games and Something about playing a cozy game on live is just so much more relaxing. And like, just makes me feel like I can just live stream for hours, you know? And thank you for being so active in the chat and everything. I really appreciate it. It's a lot easier when you have someone to talk to. And I really appreciate um, you staying here. How much is the upgrade? Oh, 2,000. I'll have that kind of cash. Oh, wait. I do want to gift Leah something. Hi, Leah. Do you like this? Okay, she does. Cool. Gifting forageables is so easy, so I just want to want to do that. And George is here, and he likes leaves. Yeah. And we'll give you that. hearts I definitely don't <laughs> did someone say Leah I know I love Leah uh, again I, I I said this before but I don't really romance people in Stardew Valley I've always just been so fixated on the farming part that I never like not had time I've just never been interested but the last save I actually uh, got Leah to be my girlfriend and I love her she is so cute all her little heart events are adorable uh, but yeah, I get it now. And I feel like Leah isn't that popular, if I'm correct. She's not the most popular, and I don't understand why, because she is great. I love her. I can't remember who is the most popular, like, bachelorette. Is it is it Abigail that's the most popular? And I know... I know... Shaw Shane is the most popular bachelor, I think. Just based off like memes I see and shit and stuff, sorry. I try not to curse on YouTube just because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of YouTube like being mad at me or something, so I try not to. If it slips out, uh don't blame me though. Like why Shane? You can't fix it. <laughs> 
Dude, he is so popular. I, I, um, I'm on r slash, uh, Stardew Valley. Uh, the Reddit for Stardew Valley. <laughs> and there are so many posts about Shane. It's like only Shane. He just closed. Are you kidding me? It's so annoying. Whatever, we'll go mining. I've seen a lot of Haley's lately. Yeah, yeah. Are you on that subreddit too? <laughs> I feel like all of the adult, like, Stardew Valley players are on that subreddit. It's so funny. I mean, I feel like adults are just on Reddit in general, but you know what I mean. I am a sworn chat, dude. I am... <sighs> I hate to break it to you, but I have a sailor's mouth. Like, I really do. It's actually horrible. And me censoring myself has been so hard. <laughs> but I try to just for, uh for YouTube's sake. I don't know how much I can or can't say, so I just I just don't. <laughs> Cuz I don't want to deal. I think you can curse in chat. I don't I think you're fine. I just don't want YouTube to like be mad at me. So I don't. But I think you doing it is fine. Unless it's like a slur, right? like don't 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 say any of those, but you know. Dang Gil, rude. So I can buy all these things now. Wow. All the things. No, oh, I can sell this and then buy uh sword. Is this worse? I don't know if it is, but I just bought it. A lot of cozy streamers help children in chat, so I just don't Yeah, that's fair. I I don't really want my stuff to be marketed towards children but i figured it's inevitable just because i'm not playing like rated m games it's inevitable so i just don't but yeah that's fair that you, that you don't swear in cozy streamers chats at all i get it like i would prefer that my content be geared towards uh people around my age so like 18 or older honestly is what I would prefer my uh, demographic to be but I know it's kind of inevitable that there'll be younger people in here and honestly it's fine you know and I actually looked at my demographics my audience uh, not too long ago I think I, I checked a couple days ago and uh, the demographic is actually or oh, like 18 to I think 30 is the majority of my subscribers which is actually pretty cool because that's what I would prefer, honestly. One time, uh, one time a kid said his age in chat, and he was like, eight! Ah! Uh, he should be on kids' YouTube. <laughs> Not your chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I'm very, um... I don't want to get too in-depth, but I'm very hesitant for uh, kids to be on the internet. So I don't make content for kids. Because that's just my personal opinion on that. No! Crows! Are you kidding me? Bruh. They took a couple of my, of my thing, of my seeds. That's messed up. That's rude. <laughs> Dear Farmer Chair, you might need some more space one day. That's where I can help. Bring me material. Yeah, I know. I know, Robin. You just want me to upgrade stuff. Uh, I know, lady. We'll get to it eventually. So, I'm gonna... trying to get a bunch of parsnips just so I can get uh, five golden ones. I don't like when people's kids are being annoying and they just put an iPad in their face. I agree. Again, I don't want to get too deep into that <laughs> just because we're supposed to be cozy gaming. Uh, but I wholeheartedly agree. Like when I babysit kids, no iPad. You know what? Most kids are fine with that too. Honestly. 
And there is kids YouTube for a reason, so it kind of panics me whenever I see, like, young children on, like, main YouTube when there's, like, a whole YouTube for kids app. The amount of math I have to do in Stardew. Dude, for real. Speaking of math, uh, so I have my art business, and I go to art markets at least, like, three times a month, so I'd say I, I, I do art markets a lot. And I didn't know that I'd have to do so much math. And I'm mad about it because I hated math in high school. I hated it. And I was like, I'm never going to use math in my life. Math is stupid. And I'll never need to use it for an art job. I was wrong. Because I use math all the time for all of my sales. I have to calculate my profit, I have to calculate tax, I have to uh, do math in my head to make sure people are getting the right amount of change back. Like, it's ugh, it's just all these things. And of course, I have a calculator, but... Ugh. But it's, it's so much math. I mean, I'm not using, like, trigonometry and all that, but it's <laughs> still making me mad. Your job sounds so fun without the crazy details. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really fun job. It really is. Um, I'm very fortunate and very grateful to uh, have a job that is so nice. Uh, but yeah, there are those moments where I'm like, I hate that I have to math. <laughs> it makes me mad. No! Ugh. Did you see me do that? Cause no, you didn't. Dang it! I sold my seeds back to Pierre. Dang it! Ugh. Don't give me trick flashbacks, not for real. I am so glad the little time I did go to college, I didn't take a math class. Thank God. Cause I hate it. I am, uh, I was the kid in high school that loved English. I loved English class, but throw me in, throw me in a math class, I'm suffering. I'm suffering, I'm in pain. <laughs> okay, so we can go to Clint's today. What else do we need to do? Yeah, we go to Clint's, get all these geodes sort sorted out. I was wondering why the wizard hasn't contacted me yet, but it's because I haven't gone back to the community center. I forgot to do that. I am a horrible Stardew player. You cannot... You cannot get me to... to speedrun this game, because I just be forgetting everything. People who speedrun this game... Ginormous brain. Giant brain, even. Because you have to do so many things. And I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. Right? <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a speedrun time. I mean, I hope I can complete the community center in like a year. But who knows? Also, I'm sorry if my game lagged a little bit. The fan just died for my laptop. So I have to plug in the fan. So ignore that buffering. I'm sorry about that. My laptop is like... I have a cooling pad underneath it. And I, I, have, I have a fan like on top of it. <laughs> just so I can stream Stardew Valley. And you know what? It's worth it. This is fun. I'm a tech class girl. I can't do things under timed pressure. Ugh, me neither. I'm horrible at that. It panics me. It scares me. Ugh, oh, I'm poor. <laughs> Dang it. I'm too poor to get my geodes cracked. Dang it. And I didn't bring my fishing pole. Oh my god, I'm the worst. It's fine. We'll go mining. That's my solution for everything. It's fine. Oh god. See, I'm a horrible Stardew player.
Sorry, my headphones disconnected again. Because of course it would. As I was saying, why are you even watching me? Because I'm a horrible starting player. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you for watching. The amount of laptop things I need to bring to college for my laptop not to shut down. <laughs> Literally. Uh, uh, this poor laptop is like... I love her. I do. And I, I would cry if it broke down. But, but dang, this man is on his last leg. <laughs> Like, I wanted to play Palia, which is a new free cozy game MMO that came out, and my computer doesn't have the requirements for it. And at that moment, I was like, you know what? I need to think about getting a new one. Because I want to play new games. My $400 Steam Deck can do more than my laptop that cost $1,000 a few years ago, which is insane. I need to save up to buy a PC, though. I really do. My boyfriend, he is... He is a... How do I say this? He's a big nerd. <laughs> so... So he is going to build my PC for me. So I'm going to get all the parts and he's going to help me build it. Because he knows more about that than I do. Thank God for that. But yeah, I need to save up for a PC. I can't play Palia on mine either. I know. I'm so sad. I love Palia. It looks so cute. I've tried not to watch anything about Palia because I wanted to play it myself, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna buy a PC anytime soon, so I might as well just watch some Let's Plays. You know? Cause I really wanted to play it on my channel, but I cannot. Because my stupid laptop won't let me. Which is rude. There are so many of these stupid bugs. They're so annoying. No, no, no! God dang it. Dang it. I don't like these guys. No, stop it! No, 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 no. Oh god, there's so many. Stop existing. I'm leaving. No. I'm not dealing with that. Sorry. My dad's uh, my dad's job, he can buy PC parts really cheap, so I have a full PC in my dorm. Oh! Okay. Cool. That's good. At least I think that's why we have so many PCs in my family. Fair enough. Let's go that you have a PC. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know where they come from. Mood. Yeah, my boyfriend's uh, dad is an engineer. And he just gets free things at work. Like, I think they got a whole 3D printer from his job. And I'm like, how does that, how does that even happen? You know? They spawn into existence. Yeah, pr pretty much. Yeah. I hate these bugs. They're my least favorite. They're like so annoying. Especially early game because they are so hard to kill. Ugh. Die. Hey, when they get angry at me, like, you're the one attacking me, dude. Ouch. Well, I guess I'm the one invading their home. 
You know what? They have a valid reason to attack me, I guess. My college lets us pay a $20 fee per semester and we get a free filament. Oh, nice. And free uses for the 3D printer. That's awesome. So, uh, uh, I keep saying when I was in college, I really wasn't in college for that long and I don't want to sound pretentious. But in, uh, in the college I was at, uh, we had like a basement in the library that was called like the creator space. And there was like a bunch of 3D printers and there was like laser cut machines, CNC machines, which are like wood and metal carving thingies and all of that um, cool stuff. We had a VR place all like in this downstairs area. And I use the 3D printer so often. I made, I made so many things, it was super fun. And also for a few courses, um, it was a requirement to learn how to use the 3D printer. Not for any of my classes, but um, just in general, like it was, it was a really cool space. It was super fun. We do have to pay for the filament used. So like, I don't know, I never paid more than like $5 for a print. They, you literally only paid the filament price, but it was super cool. We have the cutters in class sometimes. Oh, that's cool. I'll throw this away. There, let me get that. Well, that's super cool. I love that colleges have that stuff now. Because I know like when my, when my mom was younger, they didn't have anything. Because she went to the same college I did. They didn't have, they didn't have crap. I was streaming for three hours. Dang. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Okay, I need that. Uh, let's sell a couple things. We'll sell this, 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 this. We'll also do this. What can we sell? We can sell this. We don't need that yet. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these things. Yeah, we have to pay for, for the filament, but I pay the $20 for the semester. I 3D print like every other day, it's fun. It is fun, I love it. What's the most recent thing you've 3D printed? Level two combat, let's go, nice. Now we have enough money to break open all the geodes. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, and we also need to deliver Topaz. Uh, to Minus, okay. Stir fry, I already know how to make that. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at him, he's so chonky. Hello, chair. You see this cat here? I do, he is so chonky. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think he's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes, I will, not even a question. But the thing is, what do we name the cat? Mini Rocktopus, Dwayne the Rock's face, 3D printed octopus like Oh my god. That is hilarious. My boyfriend, since he has a 3D printer at home, he will 3D print the weirdest things. And I just have to deal with it. But he does 3D print me stuff sometimes, so that's cool. He 3D printed me a little Gengar. He 3D prints me slugs. He 3D printed me earrings, which are really cute. Um... Yeah, he 3D prints me a lot of stuff, actually, and I get to paint it, because I like to paint, which is cool. He also loves to make me Lego stuff. He made both of our rooms, but in Lego. It's so cool. But yeah, he 3D prints me stuff all the time, and whenever I was in college, 
I 3D printed some deck boxes for Magic the Gathering because I'm a huge nerd. And I 3D printed a bunch of slugs. That was fun. But yeah, it was mostly Magic the Gathering stuff that I printed. Because I'm, I'm addicted. I even have a tattoo, like a Magic the Gathering tattoo. Which I, I think is funny. It was my first tattoo. Pebble is what I named my Stardew cat. Oh, that's so cute. This cat is a black and orange cat. It kind of reminds me of Halloween. So maybe a spooky name? Hmm. I think a spooky name would be cute. Why is your relationship so wholesome? It is, it is. I make him art and he makes me he makes me Legos <laughs> and 3D prints. Uh, he recently actually because Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. So we went to a game store and they had a mini Lego like Gengar set. So he 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 made me the, the mini Gengar and he's on my shelf right now. I'm looking at him. He's so cute. I wish I had my camera on so I could show you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kitty. Hmm. I want to name him something spooky. We can name him Spooky. We can name him. I used to have a black cat named Smudge, like Smudge Sticks, and she was a black cat. This cat has orange in it though. Maybe Spooky is a cute name. Candy is a good Halloween-like name. Yeah, that's true. Mm, I think Spooky is a good one. I can't really think of anything else. And I think Spooky is cute. So let's just do that. Spooky. <laughs> Halloween's my favorite time of year. Well, it does have a little white in it, too. Well, little Spooky, you be a good kitty now, okay? Okay. Oh, he meowed. Oh, he's baby. Oh, he is baby. I love him. My sources tell me that you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rarsmodius wizard. Got you. Cher, I wanted to remind you that today is Vincent's birthday. Uh... Oh, okay, Lewis, with all your opinions. Dying. Okay. Uh, I'll give him a present, maybe. I don't know what he likes, but I'll figure it out. We'll just do this. We will water our crops. Boop. Baby kitty material, for real. I have a cat, and I named her the most basic name. Her name is Luna. Because, of course, that's what I name a cat. I think she's, like... How old is she? Is she four? I think she's, like, four. Or five. Yeah. Yeah. She is my kitty. I love her. She likes being outside, though. So I don't get to pet her that often. But she's baby. Oh, daffodils? Oh, okay. For Victor or who? Or Vincent? It was birthday. It was birthday. Vincent is the kid, right? I thought it was this guy. The Vincent. Okay. Uh, where is he? Because I have a cheat sheet. Mm. Okay. Uh... Uh, we'll get him a daffodil. Yeah, I don't think I have any of the other stuff. We'll find something for the man. Vincent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I misread it. Cool. We'll do that. And we'll buy more plants. Or we'll just use these, actually. It's fine. And we'll... I think it's weird that you have hearts with the kids. 
I mean, it's not like romantic in any way, of course, but it's like, do, do I talk to this kid every day? <laughs> like, I never have like any hearts or heart events with the children because I just don't interact with them. Oops. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so first we can go visit the wizard. And then we can go to town and get our geodes cracked open. We'll do that. Trust me, it's in the wiki. Thank you, thank you. I never look at the wiki. I feel like I should. I just raw dog Stardew Valley, to be honest. Can I say that on YouTube? Uh, that's questionable. But, um, it doesn't mean anything nefarious, Mr. YouTube. It doesn't, I, I swear. We're just raw dogging <laughs> Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one heard me. It's cool. Ah, come in. I am Magnus Rasmodia, seeker of arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred ch- You get the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. And you, Chair, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Okay, Mr. Rasmodius. Behold! <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's so funny, baby. You've seen one before, haven't you? I have. He is baby. He is a little guy. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings in Stardew, so I get them what they like. That's fair. Usually what I do is just get them, give them whatever garbage I have in my inventory. <laughs> I like the wizard seasonal colors. Yeah, it's cool. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Maybe because you poof them in and out like that. Ever thought about that? No consent. Imagine being a little Junimo. You're just in your little forest. You're just doing your little thing. And then you just get poofed in this random house. I wouldn't want to speak to you either. <laughs> it's scary. Imagine just being kidnapped. He doesn't know you're going to put him back. You know, that's why I don't think they like you. <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. They should fear you, Mr. Rasmodius. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. It was actually purple because of my uh, interface, uh, but yeah, sure. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. And he poofs. <gasps> He's gone. I wouldn't trust a green man either. <laughs> I found a note. Yeah. Questionable hair dye choice, sir. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Okay, what's your headcanon for him changing his hair? Do you think he, like, uses magic to change his hair color? Or do you think he sits over the tub every single month to dye his hair? Because honestly, in my headcanon, this guy is just, like, dyeing his hair in the bathtub at the end of each month. And saying it's magic. Like, it, saying it's magic, but he's just dyeing his hair. Honestly, I think that's the funnier version, so that's the version I'm going to go with. <laughs> The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you're one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. God, I love his cape, though. I know we were just talking trash on the wizard, but, like, he's bringing capes back into fashion. Like, this man is serving uh, in his cape. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? I don't know, Mr. Cape, sir. Sniff, sniff. I don't want to do sniffing noises, so that's what you're getting. 
I want him to go over the tub. <laughs> like he's just doing it by himself. Aha! Come here! Alright. I'm coming. <sighs> My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, camel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? It either smells really good, or it smells atrocious. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest per permeate. Is that the right word? Your body. I've only skipped this cutscene. I never know what the general text actually was. <laughs> You've only ever skipped this cutscene? That's funny. I think it's hilarious, so I never skip it. God, look at me. I'm absolutely, absolutely croaking, dude. I'm not having it. And now we're getting buzzed. We're getting buzzed with the wizard. Only fair. Bro. We are seeing things. We are going crazy right now. We just greened out with the wizard for real. <laughs> the green cauldron is where he dyed his hair. Dude, that's so funny. Instead of hair dye, he just puts like random herbs in the cauldron and hope it works. <laughs> You've gamed your power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Juno Scrolls. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Have I like formally met him? Like, is he on my hearts list now? Okay, he is. The only person I haven't met is Harvey. Are you kidding me? Where the heck is he? He's in his little office. Okay, I'll go see him. Ugh. God, that was hilarious. We were on something. I don't know what it is, but he put some mushrooms in there, so you can only assume. <laughs> this is why I want my audience to be adults. <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. Have I met Marnie? I've met Marnie, of course, right? Right? Yeah, I have. I'm literally just missing Harvey. Are you kidding me? How have I not tracked this man down? I like how the entire chat is just you talking. It's hilarious. I appreciate having someone to talk to, so. <laughs> but don't feel bad if you need to leave or anything. I'll be good. Uh, Harvey, uh, sir, we haven't met yet, and I've been here over a week. It's been ten days. Ugh. Let me in. Let me in. Hello. Remember to cover your mouth when you see- Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi to you too. <laughs> Dang, okay. Do we get money for that? Give someone a gift? Ugh. Y'all are making me do so many things. Oh. <gasps> Is it a cutscene with the dog? Because that's what I want. <sighs> Aw. Him. I don't know how to say that out loud. <laughs> Excited noises. Oh. Oh, look at him. Oh my god, he's a baby. What? There are two options. Pet Dusty or don't pet Dusty. Who? Who? Would say don't pet Dusty. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Who would ever... Uh uh, we're petting Dusty right now. He is a good boy. Look at him. Look at his little face. He's such a good boy. Sorry, I went on a hydrate break, so I had no clue what you just said. Oh, I said that uh thank you so much for uh staying active in chat, so giving me someone to talk to. Hello.
Hello? Yeah, the headphones disconnected again. I don't know what it is that keeps doing that. It's really annoying. <laughs> Sorry. I can't exit out of the game, though, because I have to finish this day. So we'll go to bed early just so we can we can restart the game. I'm so sorry this keeps happening. But I did pet Dusty. And he loves me. So let me actually just put Stardew music in the background. <laughs> so you can listen to something. And I will restart the game once this, game, once this day end just ends. Sorry, I couldn't talk. But we'll end the day once it ends. I love these headphones. They're the Razer Kitten headphones, the kitty headphones with little cat ears on them. My boyfriend's mom gave them to me. And they're really good headphones. It's just that sometimes they just disconnect from my laptop, which is really annoying. At least we have Spotify to keep to keep us entertained. Spotify is the only thing keeping me sane in life. I felt that. Especially for car music, Spotify is always the go-to. Okay. Let's go ahead and sleep early so I can restart the game and get audio working again. This has happened two times in this stream. Ridiculous. We made a lot of money with potatoes, so that's good. Maybe we can finally save up to buy something that isn't crops. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and restart the game. Here you can have your you can have your stardew in the background. Go ahead and restart the game. This is your designated break time. So drink water or something. Font on the be right back is beautiful. Thank you. I use Canva for all of my uh, graphic design needs, so that's where I made it. Drink water. Actually, this is a good time for me to use the bathroom. So actually, we'll be, be right back. <laughs> we got the game loaded again. So once I come back, uh, we'll start again. So yeah, go drink water, get a snack, go to the bathroom, and I'll be back in a couple minutes.
I am back. Hello, hello. Let us switch to our game and channel. And let's go ahead and get back started. And get started. Get back started. <laughs> get back to it. <laughs> Alright. Canva is amazing. Yeah, I love Canva. It is so useful. I pay for the premium. Which I know, paying for premium with something crazy, but it's really useful. <laughs> okay, look at all these farms I had. Jesus Christ. Hi. I have a smoothie in my mini fridge. Let's go. Ooh, let me turn off my Spotify, actually. So I can just listen to the game. Oh, it's actually not responding. Hello. Hi. My high school computers had premium on it. It was heaven. Ugh, that seems so nice. Yeah, I didn't- I only found out about Canva, like, maybe a year ago. I love it. It's my favorite. Missing, I lost my favorite axe. If you can find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. Here is 250k. Whoa. Let me turn down the audio a little bit for myself as well. Alright. Okay. We need to water our plants. I use Canva to make all of my thumbnails and use for my business as well. I use all of, uh, I use Canva to make all my product photos, to edit literally everything. It has been such a useful tool because I used to like hand make all of my like graphic, all my graphics like on my iPad on Procreate and it was, it took so long to do literally anything. So Canva has been a godsend. For like literally everything I do. Especially for YouTube now that I'm doing YouTube uh, consistently. It is so useful for thumbnails and announcement posts and just everything like that. Oh, hello. Hi, welcome back, Space Cadet. Nice to see you back in the stream. We are now on day 11. And we haven't gotten much done because, I mean, it is early game. But we have unlocked the mine. We have uh, unlocked the community center. So we're going to start doing that. So you came back at a great time. I would do it on Google Slides. Oh my god, I felt that. I really did. Okay, so let's go to the community center and drop all of these things off. Hello, Celestial's Cookie Batch. Wow, use the full name and everything. Dang. <laughs> okay, well, we'll make a couple trips. It's fine. Okay, let's go to the community center. Oh, kitty needs some love. Oh, also, Space Cadet, we named the cat Spooky, because he is a little orange and black cat, so I thought Spooky was a cute name. So that's what we named him. I'm glad you joined us again. It's always lovely to have people in here, especially for my first stream. I'm so excited. Okay, we did not mean to go there. We meant to go to Community Center. I don't know why I went to Robin's house. I am ready to donate. 
my little brother plays Stardew as well, and when I'm home, he criticizes every move I do in it because he's a wiki nerd. That is hilarious. That is really funny, actually. He's like, how dare you not do everything perfectly, you monster. How old's your little brother? Why did I show him the game? He's a tryhard. <laughs> That's funny. Oh god, you created a monster. It was all you. I think we already have things to donate over here. We have this and this. Yay! He's like 12. What a king. Not the 12 year old wiki tryhard. How dare he? I'm glad I already have a few things for the community center. We have sunfish, we have a shell, and there we go. We have a few more things in the chest that I need to put in here, but uh, so far so good. I think we might want to fish a little bit. Let's see. Uh, fish tank. Uh, yeah, we could fish a little more. Let me get the rest of the stuff that's in my chest. Maybe a backpack upgrade should be a thing we should uh, we should do. He yells at me when I don't have every single obelisk on spring 15 year one. <laughs> Dude, I have never gotten obelisk because is... I'm not, because I, as I said, I raw dog Stardew Valley, so I don't know how to do anything efficiently. So I've never gotten like obelisk is before. He already has perfection on his main file? God dang. That's crazy. He's crazy. Man's is insane. I think that's so cool. Oh, let me get my fishing rod, actually. My goodness, I keep forgetting it. I'm watching this as background noise. Okay, no problem. That's what I like to do with streams. I, I love to just put it on in the background, so don't feel bad about me doing that. Thank you for letting me know, though. Well, let's go back to the community center. Again, a tryhard. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, hey, I've I've hyper fixated on Stardew Valley before too, so I get it. But perfection, that's a whole nother ball game. He's crazy. <laughs> I love this pink tree, it's so cute. Sardine. Look at us. We're already completing stuff. You hear our stupid combos for real. Wait, no. This isn't for the pantry. This is for this is a forageable, so it goes over here. There we go. Nice. And now let's go fishing. Because I love fishing. And I'll guess we'll save up for the backpack. Because I'm getting annoyed with not having all the space in the world. So we need to be around. Fishing is also so relaxing because it could give my keyboard hand a break. <laughs> I don't have a wrist rest right now, so I'm actually using a mini like bunny plushie. That's what I'm using as my wrist rest right now. And it isn't the best one. Is it the cutest? Yes. But is it the most comfortable? No. <laughs> so I definitely need to get one. But I need to stretch this hand. I feel like all of my hobbies include me, like, straining my hands. Like crocheting? That can mess up your, your fingers and your wrists real bad. And gaming? That can also do that. <laughs> I need my hands to have a break. But Stardew's so fun. And so is crocheting little guys. 
I have no clue how to fish on PC or Switch. It's just clicking your mouse. That's all it is. And for the Switch, I think it's just clicking the A button. Because you play on mobile, right? Or what do you play on? I forgot. But with a uh, PC, you just like click to like make sure the fish is in like the bar. Like if you hear me clicking a lot, that's me trying to have the bar like in the in the fishy range. You just click to go up and let go for it to go down. That's all it is. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. Like right now I'm clicking it for it to go up and I'm letting go for it to fall back down a little bit. I tried to learn how to crochet once and I gave up, but your glowing crochet needle is perfection. Yeah, I saw you comment on, uh, on that reel I did. I really love that crochet hook. It's really nice whenever you use really fluffy yarn that's really hard to see. And it's also just cool. But crocheting, I, I've only been crocheting for a, like a little over a year. So um, I just kind of hyper fixated on it <laughs> and like learned how to crochet. And now I do that as my job, you know. Too hard for my ADHD to handle. That's fair. I kind of just hyper fixated on it. I did the opposite. I just hyper fixated on it so hard that I learned how to crochet very quickly. I don't know if any of these fish need to be put in the community center. Uh, we fished in the river, so now let's go fish on, uh, on the lake. I have zero hand-eye coordination. That's fair. I feel like I have pretty decent hand-eye coordination. I guess it's just memory also. You just have to memorize what you're crocheting. I like the little alien dude. He's cute. Fishies. I love the fishies. I got an achievement. I got the fisherman achievement. Let's go. I'm such a gamer. I love the ambient sounds. I like the birds chirping and stuff. It's very relaxing. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, I'll check the community center to see if any of these are needed, but after that we'll go to bed. <laughs> I like when you click so much when fishing that your VTuber Stardew, like it moves too. <laughs> yeah, it reacts to noise. <laughs> and my, my mouse clicks are so loud that it just registers it as my voice. So it just it just does that and I think it's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Like like if I click really hard, it just it just keeps going. It's 
funny. <laughs> uh, this one, this one, and this one. Look, we already almost finished the lake bundle. Wow. We're so good at this game. Cool. I just aggressively shake, exactly. <laughs> I had to make it a little bit more obvious when I talk just because it, the mouth doesn't move and I don't blink or anything. I need to get that fixed uh, next stream. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's really funny how it just shakes as I'm talking. It's hilarious. I think it's funny. I have another PNG tuber that I use uh, for some of my uh, YouTube videos. I was going to use that one, but I think the Stardew one just, it fits. So, you know, I have to use it. I've never finished any of the fish bundles, really. Usually I make my boyfriend do it, but um, I'll, I'll do it myself here, I guess. Level 2 fishing! Let's go. I like aggressive shaking. <laughs> It is funny. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream on day 14. So we would have played uh, two weeks in game. I think that's a reasonable stopping point. Especially because stream has been going on for nearly four hours now. Stop it, crow! Ugh. I haven't made a scarecrow. Why haven't I made a scarecrow yet? Oh, I need to make one. Oh my god. No, I don't mean to do that. Okay. And I'll keep three parsnips just in case. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, Pokey. Come old old house, poke, bring coin in this hat mouse. Sounds foot. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, Chair. Tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you would like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis. All right. <laughs> Not foot. Good. <laughs> My dad and I had a file on the Switch where we completed the community center, and I did no fish bundles. <laughs> yeah, when I play with my boyfriend, I ain't fishing. I ain't fishing. I will not. And he loves fishing. He is obsessed with fishing in Stardew. So, you know what? More power to him. You know. Is a herring something we need in the bundle? Herring, herring. Herring. Do we need it for anything? No. 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 Okay, so he can be sold. Uh... wood do we have actually so we can make a just that we don't even have that much wood what are we even doing in this playthrough and yellow and i'll use this for ores This can go in the fishy place because it can be used for the fish stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. My brother caught all legendaries. What a legend. He is a legend. Okay, let's get five more parsnips. Because I really want to get enough parsnips. Uh, like enough gold parsnips for that community center. So we have to do that. I think a family like farm save is such a cute idea. That's adorable that y'all did that. But he bullies me for it. How dare he? 
How rude. little man's insane for real hello space cadet i love that you just pop in sometimes and like and just throw something in chat i think it's so cute <laughs> it's it's adorable i love it i love your engagement maybe today we can go back to the mines the kids yearn for the mines We can't afford the backpack upgrade, dang it. I bought extra for when we need it next. I just continue the emojis. Yeah, I know. It's a great conversation down there. I'm loving it. I'm entertained, so... <laughs> emojis on YouTube look so funny. Because I think it's like the Google emojis or something. So, and I think they look so cute and like round, if that makes sense. I don't know if on your end they look different, but <laughs> they look cute. Okay. And let's just go to the mine. Why not? Why not? Do we have any... We have to find Robin's axe. Maybe we can go do that. It's not far away from the shovel. Oh, I need a scythe. They're done. Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't know. I was wondering when those would be done. Unmilled rice. I don't think we can do anything with rice this early on in game. Uh, so I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just sell it. I mean, we need money anyway. I'm on my phone, but YouTube adds like a weird border, I think. Oh, okay. That's weird. I also need to continue cleaning up the farm. I haven't. I've been lazy. I mean, YouTube, Google, same thing. What was I doing? Oh, I was finding Robin's axe. Okay, I already forgot what I was doing and everything. My brain, like, farted. Whoa, Robin, I wonder where your axe is. It's not like I've played this game before and know exactly where it is. Whoa, that's cr that's crazy. How would I find that? That's insane. That's insane. You, Google. Exactly. Does anybody like spring onions? Maybe I'll keep a couple. Oh, look at that cow. He looks so funny. Maybe we'll just clean up the farm today. We've been mining a lot. Why do I try to combine words? I don't know, man. Seems like a you problem. <laughs> All right, let us save these spring onions just in case. And let me pet my kitty kitty. in my family. Do another leaf. Oh, a cutscene. Okay. Epic. Good day, chair. Hmm. 
Morris promised Jojo would clear the way this rock side by now. Susan is trapped at home and can't get out except via train. Now he's telling me that the cleanup operation is delayed until early summer. My hands are tied. As the mayor of Pelican Town, it's, very, it's my duty to ensure everyone is safe. Morris and I will reach, reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. Rock slide soon. I am just relieved no one was hurt during the rock slide. Well, Harvey Leah Linus likes spring onion. Okay, cool. So I definitely will save it. Don't bother using your pickaxe to try to move, remove the rocks. It would take months. I thought it was your headphones cutting out again. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, Linus. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was giving Robin her her her, her axe. You're welcome. Oh nice, I did get money for that. Is your axe? Thank you. Is my money? Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the farm and clean it up a little bit more. We'll also plant trees because I constantly forget to plant trees and then I run out of wood. <laughs> the emoji conversations are the best. Let's get... Oh my god, look at him. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. I love you. You're baby. You are baby. You are my baby. You're so cute. Again, I wish this matched the house. I like it, but I wish it was like... Gray. Maybe we'll make the house a different color. Hang on. Why am I going inside? I don't need to go inside. What I needed to get... What's this? Okay, cool. I should have brought a hoe too. That's fine. Oh, live. Getting rid of the little stuff is always easier to me. Paint the house? Yeah, I need to paint the house. I definitely will. This is so relaxing. I love early game, like cleaning up stuff. The conversations are funny. They are. I love them. I'm very entertained. Y'all entertain me. Oh god. Okay. I'm not gonna get rid of this huge grass patch because I want to wait until we have a silo so we can actually use the grass for hay. I like getting a silo before um, before getting the chicken coop just so I don't need to worry about feeding them every day. So I'll just wait for that to be honest. I like the noises, but if I'm actually doing it, I will perish. That's fair. It's very, like, the noises are so satisfying. Like, this is why people like to watch, like, Minecraft ASMR videos. I've watched me a ton of Minecraft ASMR videos, and they're always so relaxing. Because it's just, like, the noises of, like, building and stuff is just so satisfying. Speaking of Minecraft, I do want to do a Minecraft series on my channel. I was thinking about doing it, like doing a live stream, 
but I think that I will actually uh, do a series like on my regular like video upload schedule. I think that would be fun. So expect that soon. I think I want to um, record it, record my YouTube video tomorrow so I can edit it and put it on the channel on Tuesday. Oh, you wait till winter to do that? Nice. I'll watch it. It sounds cool. Thank you. It's not going to be like an ASMR Let's Play, uh, but it definitely is going to be a cozy Let's Play. I know a lot of uh, YouTube videos, like Minecraft YouTube videos, are very fast-paced. And I would prefer not to do that. I want to do like a cozy, a cozy uh, Let's Play. And I think the videos would be about like one to two hours long. I think one hour. And I want to make it a little serious on this channel. I think that would be cool. Level two farming. <gasps> nice. Oh, we also unlocked the sprinkler. Yay. I would be the worst YouTuber. I'm a procrastinator. I mean, I, I guess I don't procrastinate that much anymore. So I guess. I just try to have a schedule. It's just nice for me to, I don't know, have a schedule to do things. It always helps me out. Just in my personal life as well, just a schedule is always useful. Just having things to do. But I really want to, like, I don't know, be a YouTuber. I feel like that's such a weird thing to say, but I really do want to be a YouTuber. And I really do want to have this as my job. I guess, like, it would be really awesome if, like, this was, like, what I had to do. Like, it's really fun. So, you know, kind of worth it. Put everything away that I used last night. The last night I actually saw a shooting star while looking at the moon through my telescope. That's so cool! Yesterday was like it there was like an orange moon outside. It was really cool. I've got some new items in stock, the deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Cool. So we just need one more parsnip to have five golden parsnips, which is awesome. I hate the normal sprinklers. They're so booty. I honestly will just wait until I get the good sprinkler. Because I don't even think it's worth the materials, to be honest. Girl, you are. I'm watching my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. You are so sweet to me. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it is a lot of work. Like, it's not like I just play games and that's it. It is a lot of work, which I never really thought about before. But, um, I really enjoy it. And I just like making videos. I really like talking to you all. And I just like making content. It's always something I've enjoyed. So I'm glad I get to do this. I'm glad I have the time to do this, honestly. But it's super fun. Like, even if I don't make money, I'm having a good time, so <laughs> I don't mind at all. But I am really close to um, being a YouTube partner, which is really awesome. I need 500 subscribers to be a YouTube partner, and once I hit, I think it's a thousand subscribers, that I will be eligible to have like ads on my videos and stuff. And, like actually make money from YouTube which is super cool and I never thought I would ever be able to do that like even be close to it you know I think it's really cool you're too chill it's calming thank you I'm glad you enjoy it that's 
trying my best. We better get you there. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Eggy Festy. Yes, it is the Egg Festival today. We are going. We're going. Let me drink some water. Uh, okay, I drank water. I'm good. We are going to buy a couple strawberries. We're not going to plant them until we get the greenhouse. But I do want to buy them. I'm tempted to buy the money too, but we want the backpack upgrade. <laughs> no ads for me because you have premium. Well, nice. Actually, uh, if you have YouTube Premium and watch my videos, it still counts as like me getting like money, which is really cool. I didn't know that. I thought that if someone had Premium, like that just meant I didn't make money, but that's actually not the case. Like YouTube gives a percentage to the creators that you watch, which is really cool. So just because you don't have ads on my videos, like even you just watching my videos really does help. I mean, I, I only make money when I have a thousand subscribers, but I'm just saying, like, in general, for other people that you might uh, follow that have a thousand. Yeah. I got an ad blocker. That's, that's fair. Don't tell anyone, but so do I. <laughs> on my phone, I can't have an ad blocker, but uh, on my PC, I do. Don't tell anyone. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. I better beat up these kids. I mean, not actually, like, beat them in egg. Beat. Not beat. I mean, beat these kids in finding the egg. I just want to find more eggs than these kids, okay? That's all. I'm ready. Let the egg hunt begin. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, we're gonna smoke these kids, dude. We're gonna, I don't wanna, okay. We're gonna annihilate all the adults as well. It's not just the kids. Uh, oh my God, where are all these eggs? I'm so scared. I think Stardew Valley expanded, like, moves the eggs. So the eggs are in different places and that panics me. They're all different and I don't like that. Oh my God. Sorry, my alarm went off. If you need to take any medication, here is a reminder. Because <laughs> that is my reminder to take my medication. Uh, oh my god. Six eggs? I thought I'd had more. Oh god. Or, oh! Okay. I found seven, I think. I think seven's good. If you lose, I'll be disappointed in you. Oh, no. No. Celestial, you can't. What if I lose? Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter to sufficiently. We'd have the cleanest town this side of the gem sea. Okay. Okay, Lewis. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt is me. It better be me. Please be me. I'll cry. Jazz and Vincent? Are you kidding me? Let me think of the logistics. So they both won. So this means the Mayor Lewis combined their egg totals. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's very fair of you, Mayor Lewis, if that's even your real name. Ah, uh, I collected seven whole eggs. Seven of them by myself with no help no assistance and these children won <laughs> i hate it here i'm moving out uh what the heck here's your pro oh i hate you stupid kids <laughs> no well that's it for this year's egg festival thanks for coming oh whatever i shouldn't have even come that's messed up. That is, that is messed up. I'm going to bed. In my new normal file, I got 14. Oh God. Yeah, I'm the worst. I guess I'm not that good at picking up eggs. 
Dang it. <laughs> well, at least we made money today, I guess. Jesus. These stupid children. Uh, I hate them. Ugh. Anyways, Queen of Sauce, what do you have for me? Clo coleslaw? Wow, limp cabbage? Let's go. Do y'all like coleslaw? I don't like coleslaw. It's like cold, wet salad that's not good. It's Haley's birthday. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to put a freaking scarecrow. Why am I so bad at this game? Dang it! The crows keep messing with my stuff. I'm the worst. Okay, let us water and plant. Dang it! I hate it. I'm the worst Stardew Valley player. Oh my god. Now that you notice that my PNG tuber moves every time I click, I cannot stop staring at it. I think it's so funny. at this game. We're gonna clean up the farm a little bit, I think. I will forever remind you in future live streams how Vincent and Jazz be you. How dare you? You're so mean. How, you know what? Not how dare you. How dare Jazz and Vincent, honestly. I think, it, I think the system's rigged. I think Mayor Lewis rigged it from the start. There's no way they got that many eggs. Their tiny legs can't even take them places fast. How can they find that many eggs? I think he rigged it. I think he knew I was too powerful. Don't ban me. I'm not going to ban you. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, God. Just imagine. Oh, my God. I'm already running out of energy. Oh no. Let's make some snackies. Snackies. Okay, is there anything nearby? There is. Let me get all this. What if I just start commenting on your cozy aesthetic art shorts and updates? That's so mean. I don't won't. Don't worry. Oh my god, that'd be kind of funny though. I mean, don't do it, but but it would be kind of funny. Uh, 
shorts are another thing I kind of want to get into. I'm kind of just uploading shorts that like I have on my TikTok. But I want to think of like specific shorts I can do that are like for this channel and I have like no ideas. At all. I'll figure it out. Maybe little clips of games I play? I'm not sure. I don't even know how to format that correctly. I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. <laughs> or will I? Okay. I do. Uh, I do have a TikTok, yeah. It's it's for my art business. It's not for my like channel, if that makes sense. Like it's my it's my business TikTok. So it's mostly just content about like my business and all that. But it is Insomniac Chair Art. Let me write it down for you. Uh so that's my TikTok. Uh let me send it in chat but my business tiktok and my business instagram is insomniac chair art and my uh personal and my i guess youtube instagram is called chair the insomniac So those are my socials that you can follow. I also have them in the description. So if you just look down in the description, it'll take you to all of my links. Uh, but yeah. So I do want to gift a couple things before I end this live stream. Also, we need to... I want to visit the traveling cart lady, but I don't think I'll have enough money because I want to do the backpack upgrade. We'll do that first, though. Finally. Nice. And I'll gift the spring onion, I think, to Leah. And where's Leah? Where are you? Oh, she's over here. Okay, I'll gift it to Leah and I'll gift it to Linus. I followed on Insta. Thank you. I appreciate it. Every photo counts. On my uh, YouTube Instagram, so the Instagram that is my personal one and not my business one. On that Instagram, I post on my story, like whenever an episode is gonna, whenever a video is gonna come out, and whenever, uh, where is Leah? What the heck? Oh, she's over here. Uh, so I, I post whenever I go live and all that stuff. So if you wanna keep, uh, like very updated, uh, I do have that. I also want to make a Discord server uh, for my channel because I don't know. I, I think that would be that would be cool to have an Instagram. I mean, a Discord server for all of you. Uh, so I am working on that, and I think on Tuesday, which is my next video upload, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put it in the description and promote it. So yeah. Thank you for following on both. I appreciate it. Oh, ew! It smells. Dot, dot, dot. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I hate Jazz and Vincent now because they won the stupid egg contest. I think Marlin has the key. Marlin, the man who hunts monsters? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big old rusty key. 
That is fair. I don't have Discord. That's okay. I still update my Instagram regularly, so you don't need Discord. Dang it. Guess what happened? My headphones disconnected, therefore it ruined the game. So, you know what that means. We're just going to have Spotify in the background while we play. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. At least we have a backup. But the nice ambient sounds are... Uh, so we gifted to Leah. I want to go to the traveling cart. I was about to comment. Yeah. I can tell when it happens now. It's annoying, though. I don't know what it is. I'll try to figure it out before my next live stream. Because this doesn't happen when I'm just playing by myself. But maybe I'm just... Uh, I don't know. I have a lot going on on my laptop. Maybe that's why. Uh... I kind of want to buy the puffer fish because the puffer fish are kind of hard to get. Oh, should I spend the money? Screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend money. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I don't know what's wrong. It could be a number of reasons. It could be it's just Stardew modded is a little like messed up or maybe it's the streaming software I use or maybe it's my headphones I don't know. it's just a lot of factors but at least we have a backup and the sound isn't like critical to the game because we can just put the Stardew Valley music in the background and you can't really tell so we'll live with that <laughs> and I want to give something to Linus and I also want to donate that so go the opposite way actually we'll donate to Linus not donate <laughs> we'll uh, give a gift to Linus and we will donate to the community center do I need to go in here for Demetrius to want to uh, give me things put bats in there or something Probably your poor computer dying from overexhaustion. Exactly. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's probably it, <laughs> to be honest. Here you go. You're welcome. And now we'll go to the community center. I forgot that the, what's it called? That the sound wasn't working. I'm like, why didn't it make a noise when I gave him something? That's so weird. It's almost like, the music, I mean, the sound isn't working right now. That's crazy. I think what's playing right now is actually the spring theme, so I didn't even notice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Spotify's on shuffle, too, so it really came in clutch. You need to make 20,000, I think. Oh, that makes sense. You are literally my Stardew Wiki right now. I don't need to search anything, because you, you either search it for me, or you just know the information. <laughs> Which I think is funny. So we got that to donate. And we have another crop. Which I don't remember if we donated this already, actually. I don't remember. Oh, okay, we do. Nice. So we got that. How much money have I made? Does it tell you? Total earnings, 5,000. Yeah, we haven't made much. Heart. Thank you for the heart. Yeah, let's go to the farm and sell the rest of this stuff. Sometimes I have searched hello. <laughs> I figured, I figured. That's all right. All right. So we are close to ending the live stream. 
We have played 14 days of Stardew Valley. So that is two weeks playing Stardew Valley in game. And I think this is a really good ending point for us. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I do. Um, Y'all have been so kind this entire live stream. And I really want to do this more often. I want to start streaming every Saturday, maybe even more if it picks up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the stream on day 14 of year one. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I do post videos on my YouTube channel every, ter every, every Tuesday and Friday. So if you like my content, be sure to go watch those videos as well. I want to do a bunch of other cozy games. We're going to be playing Minecraft. We're going to be playing some indie game showcases, just cozy games and art related games. And uh, yeah, uh, along with my Tuesday and Friday uploads, I also want to start doing live streams every Saturday, like I said, and maybe we'll do some other live streams like during the week. I will always warn y'all in the community tab if I am coming up with a live stream or a nice video. So keep updated on my community tab. Or if you have Instagram, you can also follow me on Instagram, Chair the Insomniac, where you can follow me and I post on my story whenever a video is about to go out or whenever I'm doing a live stream. I will always warn y'all whenever those things will happen. But if you don't know, just know that I do post Tuesdays, Fridays, and I stream on Saturdays now. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I had such a fun time live streaming, even if we had some technical difficulties. But yeah, I will be posting this video on my channel tomorrow or tonight if it's able to upload. So if you missed part of the stream, no worries. You can go back and watch the entire stream if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again for the millionth time. And... I'll be going. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.